Hey, Daniel. Hello, hey, everyone. Hey, Daniel. Hey. Lita. How are you? <laughs> how are you, Danielita? I'm good. How are you? Muy bien, Danielita. ¿Qué uh, me cuentas? No. Tiempo sin, sin verte. verme? Mm. Mm. Hace dos minutos. Menos. Eso es mucho para mí. No puedo vivir sin ti. Yo tampoco puedo. Ah. Uh, how's everyone going? How's everyone going? <laughs> how's everyone doing? Um, um, I can't answer for everyone, but... So, hi, Liad. Hi, Juan hey, Cuevas. How are you guys today? Um, Having a good day? So... Hi, Kakairo. Oh. <laughs> so... Chocolatico con queso. Can queso. Yeah. We're going to paint um, Zappa today, Frank Zappa. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know anything about uh, Zappa? No. No? Why, why do you want to put me on the spot? No, it's okay. I think he's a very sort of niche musician. Um, I like him, mm -hmm. but I think he's very, very specific. I think that the people that really like him, like really, really like him, mm -hmm. really, really like him. Um, but he's, he is, um, he's, he's weird. He's a box of chocolates. You, you just don't know, you know, if you look at his career, he's done just about everything. But isn't everything. it, he was? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I always, I always talk like in the present. Okay. Yeah. You know. I always say Rembrandt is. Okay, know. okay. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, it's, it's amazing. Just free-flowing letters, um, lyrics, letters. Mm -hmm. That's our translation, direct mm -hmm. translation. Uh, ridiculous. Uh, a lot of the songs that he wrote, I'm sure, would not survive um, today. Mm -hmm. They would be very quickly canceled mm -hmm. although you didn't watch this um this show with me the uh, john cena the uh peacemaker show nope and um i always w you know it's a very raunchy show uh, i'm not going to spoil stuff to just uh describe it maybe you know some people that if, if some people are um are watching they can tell us they they um they watched the show and what they thought about the show i actually liked it it felt like uh You know, mid '80s show, just mm -hmm. so many stuff wrong. Just the music, like glam rock music, like big hair rock. Mm -hmm. um, John Cena was perfect. I think he's perfect for those parts. Mm -hmm. So Zappa ha has um, a song. It's called um, Bobby Brown. Uh, that song is like Peacemaker. You know, if there's if there's a song. That is like Peacemaker, like in tone, yeah. everything. Uh, it's that song. So, I, And I'm sure that the um, director, James Gunn. Yeah, so people that have seen it can relate to what you're saying. Because I have no, no idea. Because yeah. I haven't seen the... It's just, I don't know if you would have liked it. It was like, um, you know, um, not ultra violence, but violent. It was quite violent. Mm -hmm. Just raunchy jokes. You know, he is... He's completely clueless. He's just, um, you know, racist, bigot. Um, but he doesn't know it. So, so he, like James Gunn is able to, uh, because he wrote uh, Peacemaker, he's able to get away with it just because the guy is like clueless. John Cena is clueless, absolutely clueless. And he thinks, he thinks he's being harmless. So, so he gets away with writing stuff like that, which is super hard today to do, mm -hmm. I feel. But um, yeah, but I feel that that um, James Gunn, who loves that sort of music, he's he's the, the um, director from um, the Suicide Squad that we watched yeah. in, in theaters. Mm -hmm. Well, did we watch it in theaters? Yeah, yeah we, did, we, we did. We did. Um, and the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. So he always has this love for music. Um, he has a certain type of uh, comet. Like he he, I mean, he is funny, but you have to kind of like dig his. Uh, Uh, comedy or you you won't really find them funny mm -hmm. um so i always thought I'm, i'm always could you check like james gunn zappa just to see if like maybe he he talks about how much he likes him but i have like a feeling that he probably really likes him 
but there wasn't a I don't remember if there was a Sapa song um in Peacemaker. I don't think so. I think it was more like, you know, well, glam rock. Uh he did a post on Twitter. He yeah. tweeted. Yeah. I finally got to see Winter's stunning documentary Saba about an incredible artist and exemplary human being. I'm sorry it took me so long. So I guess he may, likes it. Yeah, may, mean, maybe, maybe. Um, I, sh I should do like a bigger portrait. I want to. Yeah, I should do a bigger portrait. Um, so yeah, so so I don't know. Maybe maybe it was um, it was a little more evident. But I just think that it's uh, it's like to a T almost. Uh, how much of of um, Frank Zappa's humor is um, is present in in almost everything that James Gunn um, does. So anyway, we're gonna do Zappa, and because it's him, because it's he's so eclectic, he he's such a a mixed bag. Um, we're gonna use our saturated. We're not gonna use this guy because we don't have this guy anymore. Which uh, cobalt teal? Okay. Yeah, could have used some teal, some Zappa teal. Do you have it? Well, I have this. So <laughs> you could. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think. No? I think there's. I don't think there's enough. <laughs> no. This guy has seen better days. Yeah. Uh, but I think that um, we're gonna use a, we're gonna use cobalt. Mm -hmm. and I think that's gonna be good enough. Uh, yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. Just those uh, three primaries, obviously, plus white. Let me see if. Okay. Uh, Kakaido says. Kakaido. Santi loves Peacemaker too. Oh, really? That's awesome. It, it was a good show. It was a good show. Um, I liked it too. Nax Gobert said, from just where the huskies go. <laughs> yeah, he's... Uh, yeah, the, the lyrics. The li no, yeah, I got it. I like that song because I am an adopted New Yorker. And I remember um, telling my friend, uh, I've never seen snow. Uh, my friend Earl. Um, shout out to Earl. Um, and Earl said, if you need to know one thing, don't eat the yellow snow. So do you know what that means, Dan? No. So. Where people pee? There you go. So. <laughs> Is it to. Uh, yeah, to deduce. Deduce, yeah. Yeah. So that was the first thing uh, Earl said when I, um, when I saw snow, when I told him. I think it was like super early snow. It was probably like early or like mid-November the first time it snowed in New York. Mm -hmm. And I was like really weirded out because i was i was like expecting it to happen um like in december late december mm -hmm. and it was like early mid-november mm -hmm. that time um in 95 and i was like what is this because i'm from wisconsin so just saying that sounds like what are you doing but you know i was a baby there uh but I had never seen snow in my adult life. Yeah, because you have to say for people that are not um, oh, familiar with your story. I mean, you were in Wisconsin for uh, three years. No, 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 not even, not even. Two years. No. So, so. so very little. Yeah. Yeah. So. So and we are from the equator. We are from Colombia. Yeah. Uh, so we don't get snow. We get seasons in the sense that some months are. You know, we get more rain than yeah. other months. And we months. could go to a mo mountain here in Colombia where there is snow, but... Right, right. But, but you know, in terms of seasons... No, we don't um, have seasons. We, we don't because, you know, in terms of alt altitude, yes, of course. But, um, but in terms of seasons, no, we are, you know, in the middle of Earth, so um, we don't get seasons. Um, so you were super weirded out by the yeah, snow? Yeah, I didn't recognize. I thought it was hail. I was so stupid. I thought it was a big hailstorm because we get hailstorms here that are, you know, it, they could cover everything in, in hail. But you were older enough to know about snow. I know. I'm saying I'm stupid. So Yeah, because that sounds... I know. I got nervous. I got <laughs> nervous. I don't know. And I, and I have to say that I wouldn't eat snow. No, period. I tried snow. You'd never tried no, it? No, like in the... Like if you go... Like off the like street? Like New York streets? snow? Yeah, no. Yeah, it's a good idea not to, I feel. No, no, but I didn't try it. Like, I didn't eat. Snow. Yeah. Um, I did. I tried it. I you have to put, eat, you have to try no. it. Didn't eat? 
didn't eat. Yep. I didn't eat snow. I'm sorry. Yeah, you ha- you gotta try it. No. You gotta try it. I tried something super cool that was putting my face. Oh right, in you did one of those. That was yeah, but super fresh snow. Yeah. And I mean, that's the that's the idea. You eat. No, because if it's all no, not yeah. But the thing is that if it's if it has like one day, because oh also no, try it. no, or even like hours or in like a big hours. City. No, no, no. But it's wait, because like it was in brown a, s- like sludge. No, wait, because it was in a backyard, like in a private area. Oh right, you were um in a house. Yeah, yeah, you were you were like out of the city, like suburbs. No. No, wasn't it suburbs? I was in the city, but I was in the house of a teacher of my sister. Isn't that far from from like? You no, know? Th- isn't that like a residential, that, like like super residential area? No, though? I think that they there's like Lansing and East Lansing, if I'm not wrong. Maybe I'm mistaking. I'm just trying to remember, and I remember that the house was in East Lansing. Okay. Or the other way around, whatever, I don't know. But it, uh, the thing is that it has to be like super fresh snow. Oh, yeah, so it's soft. For you to leave kind of f- the perfect print yeah, of your face. Yeah, like fluffy. Yeah, but it was super fun. Yeah, it looked amazing. Yeah, I have the pictures. Super cool. I remember you sent that to me. That yeah. I still have them on my phone, I think. Um... Liad said you can make a cobalt teal equivalent, a phthalo blue, phthalo green, yellow shade plus white. But uh, Nicolas doesn't have phthalo yeah, blue or I phthalo green, <laughs> yeah. yellow shade. So. That sounds that sounds pretty close. Yeah, uh, but but I don't, don't yeah, have it. Don't have uh, yeah. either of those. So what was it? Thalo phthalo blue, phthalo green, and phthalo green, bit. yellow shade. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, thing. I was gonna say blue and green. Y- you need you need some. Um, I mean, you're going to get like a hue that's close, but never as as like nice and crisp as that color. That's usually the case when you have to mix colors instead of uh, using the actual the actual pigment. Hi, Rosalyn. We missed you. How we are have you? Half of Rose. We ha- yeah. Do we have the other row here? Robin. We don't oh, have and I have to let uh, Rosalyn know that I just... Uh, some days ago, I uh, shipped the, um, like I, because I was creating the sculpture and now it's on its way. Yep. We uh, sent it tomorrow, Danny. We sent it tomorrow. Uh, yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> oh my God. See my brain. I told you. <laughs> yeah, I'm we telling sent you, it it's yesterday. not a joke. <laughs> it's not a joke. No, I, that happens a lot. That's <laughs> my, that, that's where my brain is, has like a short circuit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hi, Cody. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Sheka. Hi, Paston. Hi, Marciel. Hi, hola, Julia Tobar. Dice, hoy está Arturo viendo conmigo. Uy, qué chévere. Eh, hola, hi, Marcelo. Hola, Margo. Hi, Emery. Hola, Javi, Hav. Yeah, because I didn't want to say hi to someone and let the others out, so. Mm. Marcel said, eating yellow snow. What? Is that what they're doing? Okay. No, I mean, the, no, no judgment. It was a question. Eating yellow snow. No judgment. Uh, oh, that's so sweet. Rosalind said, oh my gosh, I can't wait. Danny, your sculpture is going to be so cherished. Uh, I am sure it, it's going to be. I'm super happy it's going uh, your way. Best home. Yeah. The both row rows. Yeah, I know. Best home homes. So uh yeah, and let me know how does the crate arrives. I think I did a pretty good job. What do you it think? It should get there in But it's my first time crating, so I think it's gonna get there. <laughs> <laughs> no, let no, us no. know if it what? gets there in a single piece. No, what I'm trying to say is that I know that the sculpture is gonna get there. But I don't know if maybe uh, the crate's going to move a little bit around. But that would be fine. Um, if yeah. If the sculpture I mean, is it's, good it's at a, the end, that's it, It's a box in a padded envelope in a padded envelope. No, so it's two boxes. Yeah. 
Because it has the... Um, yeah, little... but it's essentially a, a box. Oh, well, two... Two boxes. Yeah. In a padded envelope. Yeah. In a padded envelope. So it should it should withstand... And two boxes with some... How is it called? Foam? Yeah, it's a kind of a plastic weird foam. Oh, yeah, yeah. You put like um, little walls. Like barriers, yeah. Yeah. It's like a plasticky foam, yeah. I don't know what that is. So, Necho... Two says, "Where where's the reference photo, please?" So today we don't have a. We I could I could send it to you uh, okay. if you want. Well, if you want. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But that one, because that one is like crooked. Yeah. Okay. So you could go to my email. Yeah, Rosalind said, "I will. You guys always package so well. The paintings arrive perfect every time." Yeah, so we've mastered the painting packaging. Oh, don't jinx us. No, no. We, we no, do our best. Yeah, we've tried our best. No, let's say we've we've sent enough paintings mm -hmm. to uh, have a kind of a, a method to know how to pack the yeah. paintings. But we haven't packed any uh, sculptures. So I did my best. So let me go for the reference. And I want to push. So, well, push not super crazy, but I want to push some of the um, some of the angles of the nose because um, I adore noses. Somebody called me out on that yesterday, but I can't say anything. They're right. What? I'm sorry, I was reading something and oh, I... Damn, never. <laughs> never <laughs> what listen. were you saying? Uh, how much I love you and how yeah. much you mean to... Someone told, of called you out with what? With noses. How much I like noses. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, what, what did you say, Nicola? Nothing, nothing. It was nothing else, honestly. It Gosh. was just that. Mm -hmm. You know, I can rewatch the video. No, no, no. I, I'm being honest. It was okay. nothing else. See if I can break it and do that. So there's the reference. Mm, Javi have said. Sapa definitely had a nose full of character. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, that's gonna be uh, fun to try and model. I think I'm gonna go. Actually, I don't even know what colors. So let me let me do the easy one first, which is the darker hair. So the only option I have for dark is gonna be just mixing. Jose Fail said, Danny, your coat is my favorite color. Oh, yeah, it's a super cool, yeah. like pastel green. Yeah, like um, uh, dentist <laughs> green. Yeah, I really like it too. And it's super uh, warm. And it's super oversized. Cause not I bought not it. huge. No, yeah, because I bought it like two you. size uh, bigger. Yeah, but it doesn't look it enormous on super baggy. Though. Like, but I do think it looks. Let's do like a wandering eye. Big. I don't think it looks that big on you. No. No, I don't think so. Mm, Marcelo Peralta said, "Sapa, nice, good choice, great music and great features for a portrait." Oh yeah. Jose Fields says that he refers to this color as light sea foam green. Which I think it's a very good way to describe it. What's uh? What was that? Light mm -hmm. sea foam. Sea foam. Green. Okay. Okay. Mm. Emi Cianuro dice, Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cuál es tu canción favorita de Frank? La mía es Black Napkins, sobre todo una mm. versión en vivo del 76, Dios, una joya. Es que era un músico brutal, brutal, brutal. Eh, Uncle Remus, por ejemplo, tiene también una música... Pff, o 
o sea, como música, uno hay veces se, se pierde como en la letra, que es como, pues, hay veces es re tonta, eh, pero uno, si uno le para como bolas a la, le, le para bolas, le presta atención para a la... Bolas, sí. Para bolas, no sé si sea solo de nosotros. Ah, Es que okay. parar bolas yo creo que no, no es como... No, si no sé no, de dónde viene, la no verdad. No se entiende mucho. Pero si uno le presta atención a la música, es una locura. Es una locura. Era re virtuoso. Y Emi Cianuro dice, uy, aunque es cierto, Watermelon in Easter mm. es buenísima. Otra de mis favoritas. So I'm going to see if I could I could make that kind of wandering eye work. If not, I'll I'll place it again here, because I want to see if I can. I mean, if I don't take chances with a Zappa portrait, um, it it won't really make sense. So. Callum said, "Happy Saint Saint Patrick's Day." Saint Patty's, Day. right? Yeah. I mean, we don't celebrate it here. No, the Did only thing bar? that people do is go to drink, drink beer. Did you used Here. to, um, did you have, um, did I you have think to work we did. at a yeah, I think we St. Patty's? Yeah, if it was uh, Thursday, uh, Thursday, Friday, sa Friday, Saturday, or even I think they opened uh, Sunday, but I wasn't working. Mm. But in some occasions they did open on Sundays, but like um, they closed earlier, so. Okay. But only when I was working in the rock bar. Like yeah. the rock, yeah. Yeah, you figured that's where people would celebrate. Yeah, it. yeah. Well, but... Anywhere, really. Yeah. I mean, give us, a, give us, us Colombians a reason to drink. Just a room yeah. where you can drink and there's... It's gonna be full in, an in less than an hour. So. Yeah. Mm. And are you celebrating, Callum? Are you... What are you doing for St. Patrick's? I think my cousin, Kakairo. Kakairo. <laughs> Kakairo. Mm -hmm. uh, went sometimes to celebrate to a pub. Yeah. If I'm not misremembering, I've seen some... Photos? Like photos, yes, or stories or something. that. Maybe she wanted to keep that private and you're just like... Yeah. Outing her. <laughs> That's how we do it here. Santiago's going to be like, what? No. What was that? <laughs> no, but I remember, like I remember a long time ago, uh, seeing some photos of her celebrating. She says, yes, I did. And are you going to celebrate today, Kakairo? Kakairo? With... Um Green With Santi, what? Green eggs and ham. It's a Dr. Seuss thing. You know how they drink everything green or mm -hmm. eat yeah. everything green? I think that's cool. The green beer. Oh, that's what I saw in my cousin's. Am I wrong, Kami? Because I think I've, I saw that you had green beer. Yeah. In the Irish pop, maybe? Maybe. Just forcing my memory a lot. <laughs> Callum said, I don't drink anymore, so not really doing anything, just painting, haha. <laughs> Same thing we do every night. So, maybe a green painting? <laughs> oh, for... Um, for a celebration? Uh, could I fit some? I mean, I wasn't planning on doing anything green, but... Um, no, I was saying that to Callum. Oh, oh, oh. It's not like Callum telling you. Oh, okay. We'll no, put no, like no, a little Callum shamrock said, somewhere, just to celebrate it. Yeah, because Callum said that he wasn't celebrating, just painting. So I was like, mm. maybe he could do a green painting. Uh, my cousin said, no, my best friend's birthday, birthday is today, so that's why. So you're going to go out, I guess. Have you tried green beer? Yeah, I did. I remember. Um, I haven't. I mean, New York 
it, it's a... Uh, I don't know why, but almost every New Yorker feels um, that they have to Irish celebrate. at some, you know, mm -hmm. somewhere. Yeah, it, like every bar in St. Patrick's Day would celebrate every single bar. And is it just like a col like a color thing, like a colorant? Yeah, yeah, or yeah, like yeah. Color tint. I don't know how to call that, but yeah, yeah. Or does it have like a weird no, special flavor? I don't flavor? remember. I don't remember, but yeah. I no, I remember tasting. I mean, it tasting like beer. It was just green. So, I mean, that would be your best bet, right? You don't mm. want it to taste like something else. No, But I don't know about nowadays. Maybe nowadays they do like, um, they do something weird. But I do think that it's just uh, food coloring. Yeah, I think so. If it was like a special uh, beer for the day, that would be so expensive. Right. I right. mean, if they just have the stock and they just use food coloring. Right, then you're right. Super cheap. Um, let me open this. Eh, Margot Delgado dice, Zapa ya tiene la cara, la cara alargada, muy al estilo de las, entre comillas, deformaciones que Nicolás suele hacer, ¿no? Sí, está a tiro de piedra. <risa> la verdad, me quedó, me quedó cerquita, entonces no tengo que hacer como... Servido. Sí, no tengo que hacer como gran esfuerzo. O sea, Modigliani lo hubiera podido pintar fantástico. Yeah, my cousin saying that the green beer is just food coloring. Yeah, no, and but, you're but totally do, right, yeah. Danny, that it's just, it just makes sense, like, logistically. Yeah, because it would be super, I mean... It would be absurd to, like, yeah. for one day have, like, stock that yeah. maybe you can't sell any time, like, any other time. Yeah. Mm. But I'm seeing that there's some places that add different things. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like nowadays when people just, you know, beers have just about anything in them. I'm guessing like there's probably like a, a vegan. Yeah, but I mean, the normal thing is. I mean, is beer is vegan. So what am I saying? Yeah. <laughs> Veer. <laughs> um... Let's see. Um, I think you're right, though. Yeah, no, 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 about the food coloring, I think. But I wanted to see, because when you said that maybe now they have like a, like a special beer that you can get that day like with a special flavor yeah. I was trying to look like what flavor would that be but i think that everyone just uses the food coloring so. and that's yeah, all i think it's just the easiest mm. marcelo peralta said i was watching the beginning of yesterday's life and you picked oxford town as favorite song I had a blast going back to that song, taking in consideration what you said. Oh, cool, cool. Mm. Yeah, super, um, you know, the, the nasal twang, twang is, uh, is really amazing in Dylan. Uh, but, but that one, it's just the, the way he kind of changes um, tone constantly is just amazing. It's pretty amazing. Liet said, beer is generally vegan unless they add honey to it. Or something else strange to eat, like Guinness used to? Guinness? Um, Genies? G-E-N-E-S. So Genies, but I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know what you're referring to, uh, Leah. You could, you could tell us what it what that is. I've tried chocolate beer. I don't think I've ever no. I tried that. Yeah, it was good. Well, I. I like sweet, so. Um. Yeah, I don't think I've ever. Well, I had to, because I, rem I remember they were like, no, there's like regular beer, 
and there's like a chocolate beer. And I was like, what? And my sister was like, you have to try that. Yeah. Because we were, uh, that was in the trip to Chicago. Yeah. And we were at the family of the husband of the yeah. friend of my sister. Yeah. And they had like a lot of things to eat. I think it was for Christmas, was it? Thanksgiving, maybe? No, no, no. Because I went for uh, Christmas and um, New Year's. Okay. So, but I remember that New Year's where was in a f in the house of a friend of theirs. So, mm -hmm. um, chocolate beer. No, that that sounds that like a little too Harry Potter for no, me. No, it was good. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah, I liked it. I tried a lot of things there, like cherry cider because i've never tried a cider before mm. it was good liad said i misspelled it i'm talking about guinness beer oh guinness it used to be filtered through fish bladders or something like that what what when <gasps> i think i only had guinness when i went to uh, liverpool so It would make sense, you know, to filter it's a port. So, <laughs> Cody Winicky said it doesn't count unless it tastes like green. When we were talking about the flavor of St. Patrick's, yeah. Uh, Roxana Top said, "Like, give me a food that tastes like green. It could be anything. Um, what would you say? Lemon. Lemon." I would but say our lemon, so lime. Lime. I would say cucumber. Yeah. You know, like cucumber tastes like green to me. Mm. Let's see. Cause I was gonna say lettuce, but lettuce tastes mm. like eh, it's a little nothing. Like nothing, yeah. Mm. What tastes like yellow? Urine. I was gonna say egg, but okay. Egg. Yeah, the egg. Yeah. No. Yellow pancakes. Oh, scrambled pineapple. eggs. Pineapple. Yeah. yeah, scrambled eggs. Pineapple. pineapple. I mean, we're we're just naming yellow things. For the color, yeah. Yeah, we're idiots. We're just no, associating <laughs> taste with a color. Uh, yeah, my cousin said pineapples. Oh, that's right, Leah. Leah said peppermint tastes like green. That's true. That's a good one. That's a good yeah. one. Mm. Marcelo Peralta said green to me is chayote. Chayote. I don't uh, know what that is. I don't. Let's well, it's Google maybe it. Maybe um, Brazilian. Chayote. Chayan. Say no more you. We. I think we don't have that here. Can I see? It? Yeah, it's like a fruit. Oh yeah, no, that looks like. Oh no, that looks like a uh, guanabana, but not really. <laughs> no. Like when you open it up, not really. Looks like a, uh, or it looks like um, an av avocado. No, 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 no. Kind of. No, no, no. It looks like um, ay, ¿cómo se dice? Feijoa. Con la que uno um, cacaíto, por favor. Con la <laughs> si uno si uno no no le está echando papa o zanahoria a la sopa para volverla um, para engrosarla. Uno le echa guatila. Mírame si la guatila es el mismo. Yo es que cacaíto. Sí, muy bien, se parece. Sácame esto, cacaíto. ¿What? ¿Será el mismo? Ah, ¿es la guatila entonces? Guatila es chayote. A ver. Sí. Uy, muy bien. Uy, Nicolás. Sí, claro. Mejor dicho. El que no ha comido sopa de guatila. Muy bien. Yo no sé a qué sabe. Ah, nada. O sea, como no... Como fresquito, pero no. Es muy barata y entonces como la zanahoria o la papa son tan costosas, la usa mucha gente para que la sopa no sea como un caldito así... Sí, pero no, o sea, digo, es que en mi cabeza... O sea, si tú me dices piña, sé a qué sabe piña, todo mm. eso. Pero si me dices esa, la guatila, no, no sé a qué sabe. ¿La guatibia? La guatibia, sí. Mi prima dice, ¿guatila? ¿Qué es eso? Jaja, me corchaste, Coco. ¿Qué? 
Cacairo. Cacairo, cacairo. ¿Qué pasó? Um, no, Marcial said, beer that tastes like fish should be fine, I guess. No. Ugh. Yeah, that's not good. No, not at all. I mean, nothing that tastes like fish that is not fish is not cool. Roxana Toff said, I'm not a beer drinker, but I like chimay. Chim I don't know if I'm mispronouncing. I'm always mispronouncing. So I'm going to read it as I can. Chimay gran Grande Reserve. It's a Belgium ale literally made by Trappist monks. And it is definitely a religious experience. LOL. What? Have you tried it? No. no of Have you seen not. it? No. Nah, nah. Let's By see. what monks did you say, Danny? Wait, because I just closed. Uh, I was trying to Google it. Uh, Trappist monks. Trappist? What yeah. does that mean? I don't know. Trappist monks. Officially known as the Order of the Cistercians of the Strict observance and originally named the order of reformed uh, cistercians of our lady of la trap oh my god no. are a ca uh, catholic religious order of cloistered monastics that branched off from the cistercians no i have no idea no it just said cistercians like a thousand times so they're cloistered though that yeah. means they don't leave yeah i know what they're <laughs> only drinking beer yeah oh i mean and, they're and having look, amazing look. parties over there i looked at uh, the photos and i found they're this all drunk? and this yeah look at them and this they're all <laughs> drunk they're all buzzed. having a great time yeah <laughs> um Probably gonna spend like half the time on this painting with that with the nose. It makes sense. I mean, it's like the most uh, like the coolest feature. Yeah, it's, it's super super important. So, but it's also the one that I want to try to um, not push because I mean, I mean, you could make it about that big if you wanted to, but. Um, I just want to see if I can make those shapes work well with the rest of the shapes. Ultimately, that's what's kind of cool. So the Chimay Grande Reserve Ale okay. has 9% alcohol. And it says it's a thick, creamy brown alcohol. Okay, no. Uh, I've never tried anything close to that, I feel. It says uh, relatively dry with a caramel note. Okay. Yeah, but I've never even seen it. And of course, we can't get that here. I don't think that we can. Do you think they sell it outside their monastery or, or their... Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, where did you... Maybe they're... Be the where uh, did you try it? Was it Belgian Roxana? monks? Yeah. Maybe they sell that. Maybe. Uh, maybe. But I mean, usually those cloistered, you know, monks and nuns, they just have like their business... I mean, they don't do big businesses, so. Peter Smeekens said, there are several Trappist breweries in Belgium. Chimay is pretty okay, but West Vleteren is the best. So, Peter, can you get it? Uh, Outside uh, Belgium? Yeah, and can you get it like in every store in Belgium? Or do you have to go... Because I think it ha it's a bigger production. I, I don't think that you have to go near the monastery. I would think that it wouldn't it be cool if that's the only way. I would say that that would yeah. be cooler. Um, Roxana Tov said, we can buy it at the stores and at bars or coffee houses. <gasps> it's super pricey, maybe $8 per bottle. Mm. They're raking the money in then. Cody Winicky said, I once had a shot of some alcohol that had a cobra in the bottle. It tastes like snake. 
Cobra. Yeah, because I've seen the uh, worm. We've talked about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I but tried. Cobra. Right. Yeah, that's not you. I don't think I've ever even been to a country where there's cobra, so. Marcelo Peralta said chayote or chayote. I think it's chayote. Is a vegetable with a very cute name in Portuguese, chuchu. It's often used as a couple's nickname, like calling someone my love, meu chuchu. Meu chuchu. Meu chuchu. Uh... Jose Fail said, for a pastel green, I'm thinking Miracle Whip. It's like mayonnaise. mayonnaise? Mayo. Ma yeah. mayo how do you say it? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, but sweeter. Mayo. Mm. How you have said, yes, Chimay is sold all over the place. When I was a drinker, I had tried it here in Chicago. Yeah, so you can find it everywhere, not in Belgium. Oh, and my not God. Only the Cause I think that's the way they you they do money for the money. Yeah, mon yeah, but they became a brewery then, not a monastery. Well, they can be both. Oh, yeah, they could they could do whatever they, they want. They can be both. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not judging here. Yeah, and and Slightly. one doesn't have to exclude the other, so. Well. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, if if you have to produce a ton of beer, like when are you praying? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not judging, but come kind on, you, got, you have to do either or. You can't do both. Uh, Peter Smeekin said, "You can get most of the Trappist beers everywhere, but the West Vlederen is quite rare. You can only buy one crate a person, and only if you reserve it." Oh, wow, really? it sounds expensive too. Yeah. How much is it uh, for a bottle? Thousand dollars. <laughs> Cacaito. Yeah. Cacaito. <laughs> no, coquito. No, no, no. Es que siempre me, me emociono yeah. cuando dices cacaito. <laughs> te estoy molestando. Cacaito, ¿tú te acuerdas de la forcha de mi abuelo Manolo? ¿Tú la probaste alguna vez cuando fuiste a Sevilla? Es que ayer cacaito no estaba. Entonces quiero saber. Mm, ¿Sí sabe lo que hay en forcha? ¿En forcha? ¿En la forcha? Uh -huh. Eh... Marcelo Peralta said, big part of producing beer is just waiting for the fermentation process. You can pray as you wait, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to... Um, mm. I don't know. It says, a 24-bottle crate of West uh, Vlettern, mm -hmm. 12, will cost $50. Okay, that's not bad. In this thing, in this uh, vlog that I found. Blog that I found. Oh, and the title is The Best, The World's Best Beer is Made by Belgian Monks. And now you can order it online. Oh my God, these monks are like Jeff Bezos. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I trust these monks anymore. Mi prima dice, no la probé, pero me acuerdo y de los callos a la madrileña que hicieron de las suyas con Manolino. <risa> pero no fueron solo los callos, es que mi abuelo, callos y dos forchas, y la forcha es ser como una cerveza. Y luego comió como helado y de todo, y pues no tuvo un buen recibir del año nuevo, digamos. Hmm. Hmm. Eh, Edward Cepeda said... On the topic of monks, Zapada? alcohol... What? No, I'm sorry. Did I say Zapada? No, 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 no I was saying, I was... Oh, Zapada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll leave. No. <laughs> uh, so, Edward Zapata mm -hmm. said, On the topic of monks, alcohol production, Yeah. I've never understood how the uh, Chartrusian monks can produce so much 
chartreuse mm -hmm. that it's so widely available but good for them what's ch that chartreuse do you know i don't maybe a chartreuse? wine chartreuse maybe a wine chartreuse cuz i said chartreuse but i think it's chartreuse have no idea let's google um Ay. chartreuse is a French herbal liquor available in green and yellow versions. Um, I never tried it. No. I have to be honest. Me neither. Look. Yeah, no. No. Yeah, no. Um. Uh, Wait. Um. I love how you tell me wait, and I'm like, I'm here patiently. <laughs> I always feel wait, like, okay. Nicolas. Please yeah. wait. You did. Uh, Liad yeah. said, "I worked at Anheuser Bush." Yeah, Bush. Bush, and it's a twenty-four-seven operation when it's that large. I know these monks, man. These monks. Peter Smeekin said, that's right, most monasteries are just plain breweries. Only the West Vlederen just produce enough to provide the monastery. That's why it's so rare. Prices mm. of eBay can go sky high. Mm. So that's, that's a good thing then. Eduard Cepeda said, there's green and yellow chartreuse. Mm -hmm. It's a sweet herbal liquor. The color chartreuse is is named after the liquor. It's been around since 1764. Mm -hmm. 64. 64. Wow. 64. Yeah, I knew the color, but I didn't know the color came from the uh, liquor. Liqueur. Liqueur. How we have said, chartreuse is a color that resembles the yellow you're currently painting, Saba. So we're good then. Connection. We are all, yeah, on brand today. Mm. Aline Gollard said love this Sapa slash Uribe collab and it looks like uh, it looks Hodler-esque maybe like Kirchner-esque we're going like um, German expressionist maybe a little bit I don't know why I think in the painting right now. Yeah. He looks like an actor, but I don't know his name. <laughs> that was um yeah. You know I I know like one actor name, so. Oh, Sasha Baron. Mm, let's see. Probably. Like Borat. It's got to be him. That's like Borat. super I think you're thinking of him. I would bet. Maybe. I if I had to think of one like somebody that looks like him. Yeah, but here, because I mean, the yeah, first photo was this, and I was like. Right, 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 right. But in Borat, yeah, in yeah, his character, maybe. yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe. That's who. That's what you were. Who you were thinking? Maybe. Mm, let's see. Let's see. Jose Fail said Joaquin Phoenix. Uh no, I no. think I think Sasha Baron Cohen is is like closer. Joaquin Phoenix is the one of the Joker, no? Right. Yep. You know? Oh, nice. That I know, because I think that movie was amazing. That movie was good. Yeah. yeah. Tom Selleck <laughs> was saying uh, Cody Winicky. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, but I don't think Danny. Um, no, I didn't. Th- no, there's not a googling. lot of top of mind of uh, you know Tom Selleck top of mind and Danny. If I have to be honest. <laughs> My cousin said, he also looks like Richard Monica's Monica Geller's boyfriend from Friends. That's Tom Selleck. Yeah. Uh, and um, what was I going to say? Oh, fuck, I forgot. Murdy said, you thought he was a man, but he only was a muffin. <laughs> and uh, for us, Charlie Garcia. I think Charlie Garcia mm, is like... T. Yeah, yeah, it's like they modeled... I mean, they were same time, so it, I'm, I'm, it wasn't like... They he looked copy. at Zappa and yeah. Oh, a Don Ramón. Un poquito. Okay. <laughs> no. Ron Ramón. A Ron Ramón un poquito el bigote. No. Un poquito. Ron Ramón, un día tengo pintado. Ay, Ramón. sí. Así mira. <laughs> Ron Ramon Rizon. Ay, Ron Ramon. Tú sabes que um, Iron Studios, que son de Brasil. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe I'll say this in English because Marcelo maybe um, maybe knows. Marcelo, do you know that that Brazilian company Iron Studios? They make statues and figures. Did they do El Chavo? Yeah, they have like a one sixth <gasps> El Chavo. Oh, I have yeah, to. Look yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been wanting to buy it. I mean, they're not well known. They're not known for doing one sixth figures. So <gasps> they have all of the characters. Look. No, but as like statues, as like. No. But they're doing. But I saw no, no, no. I saw uh, Chapulín Colorado in one sixth. Como busco en español. No, I think if you if you Chapulín? Iron Studios and Chapulín, yeah. Because Chapulín, Danny, oh, here. is, Look. I mean, for us, it's huge. But for Brazilians, it's enormous. Yeah. Enormous. <gasps> I mean, I would say, I mean, well, Brazil, because it's so much bigger than us. But, um, yeah, but I think I'm selling us, I'm, I'm selling ourselves short. Because I, I do think to. that in Colombia, El Chao is like... Super I, big, yeah, yeah. I don't. I can't think of like more popular characters. El Chavo y Betty la Fea, no sé. But I think here more El Chavo than um, Chapulín. But no, all of maybe, it. yeah. No, wait. but all of it. All of Chespirito. They also have like a one to ten, uh, like figures, like st- kind of statues. Look. Ño ño. Ño ño. Divino ño ño. Look. Ñoño está espectacular. Yeah. Yeah, I I like their statues, but I think they're still like a little a little bit away from from doing like super super like being competitive, like super competitive. Yeah. The thing is they do a size that is um like not not many other statue makers do, which is one tenth. Mm-hmm. So they're very small and they can price them like super well. Um, and that's why they have like a, a good market. But um, I don't have anything of them. My brother had some. Yeah? Yeah. Do you remember the chavo that he had? The no. little sculpture? You don't remember? Was it this one? Yeah, the one in the barrel. Oh, yeah. maybe that was yeah, why that it was, looked that's super familiar. Yeah, my brother has bought some yeah. some things from them. But um, I haven't. But I thought about the uh, Chapulín. For the one six. Doña Florinda. <laughs> Who was your favorite that was not of Chavo? That was not Chavo. Um, Don Ramon. Ron Ramon. Yeah, that's like an easy Ron one. Ra. Yeah. That's easy. Popis. La Popis. <laughs> eh, Ñoño. Ñoño me, me encantaba a mí. De sí, pronto porque yo me sentía reflejado con Ñoño. Pero Ñoño era lo máximo. Sí. Sí, a mí me caía bien también. 
Godines. Doña Clotilde también, la, la bruja del 81. 70. Set, la bruja del 71. Sí. Ay, sí, qué vergüenza. 70. Oh, Mandy. Tú ahí. <risa> Tú, bueno, sí. No tengo nada que decir. Voy a decir muchas cosas, pero mejor. Eh. Monique was saying, I like the long skinny brush you just used. Oh, that's a liner brush. It's very cheap. It's a it's a um, synthetic liner brush, like a rigger brush, but it's very, very cheap. It's lost its shape also. Like it can't really keep its shape because I don't use it properly. The way you, you, you're supposed to use it is loaded with medium. So the brush is so long, so long, that all of it can be loaded with medium. So then you take a little bit of paint and then you can kind of like draw with it. Um, but I, I mean, I've used it like that, but nowadays I just use it to like mark make. So I use it with like just paint and just, you know, I kind of force it to drag paint around. Um, and I really like it. I really, really like it, so. But I'm just doing some little marks to see if I can uh, push gesture. It's almost like a um, a drawing tool for. I mean, it is it is essentially a drawing tool, a very kind of fundamental drawing tool. But um, when I feel like I'm trying to solve something and I don't have it figured out yet, I try to do some marks just to see placement and shape and gesture. Um, And it, it gives me a sense if I'm going, like, in the right direction. Peter Smeekens was saying Joaquin Phoenix in her is quite right. Oh, he's amazing. And I love that movie. That's one of my favorite movies. Yeah, it, it was You know, the good. other day um, that we were talking about favorite movies, I that love that movie. That was very good, yeah. yeah. I think uh, Scarlett uh, Johansson is, like, absolutely brilliant in that movie. <laughs> How we have said Don Ramon from El Chao. Ronra. From El Chao. Yeah. Eh, Oso Buco Nosor dice, Sí, Zapa, hermoso Nico. Estoy seguro que tanto Charlie como Spinetta sí. escucharon Zapa ellos y muchos músicos argentinos de la época. Sí, sí. Uh, Marcelo Berata said, Oh, yeah, I know them. Great statues. Chávez, Chao, Chávez and Chapo. Chapulín, Chávez and Chapulín. O sea, el Chavo y Chapulín. El Chavo y el Chapulín is considered the most profitable TV show in our history. That's it's amazing. It's been on reruns from decades and it still gets amazing rates. That's us too. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. is it here still? I don't of think course. it is. Yeah, I think so. Mm. I would have to ask my sister because my sister Luisa, out of all of us, she's the uh, biggest fan. What was it that they uh, teached us for when you close a tab by accident, like oh, going back? Con control tab, control... Control shift T? Maybe. Try that. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. Um, eh, ¿Quién iba a buscar? Oh, my God. <laughs> Que si está el chavo todavía en televisión eh, colombiana. Sí. A ver, chavo. Chavo en colombiana. No, mira, en el, hay una noticia. Mm. En, esto es del 2 de agosto, creo. Mm. Que dice, el chavo no va más en la TV colombiana, lío judicial dejaría al mundo sin Chespirito. ¿Y de qué año? Perdón. 2020. Uy. A ver. ¿Y qué fue el problema? Pues supongo que los derechos. Dice, aunque triste es por la decisión. A ver. Eh... ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Es una pena. Que quien más se benefició de los programas de Chespirito hoy. Me encanta que estás leyendo que y no sabes no para dónde nada. vas, te conozco. Sí. Empezaste a leer y estás, esto que estaré leyendo me sirve, me sirve, no. 
Por problemas económicos y legales mm. entre Grupo Chespirito y Televisa, se ha detenido toda transmisión de sus programas en televisión abierta en México y más de 20 países. El 31 de julio fue el último día de transmisión interrumpida de los programas de Roberto Gómez Bolaños. Eh... Plata, por plata. La suspensión se debe a un problema pendiente a ser resuelto con el titular de los derechos de las historias. La estación continúa apoyando de acuer un acuerdo entre las dos compañías mexicanas, el grupo Chespirito Tele y Televisa, lo antes posible. Y si esto sucede, estaremos encantados de informar a los fanáticos del Chavo y el Chapulín Colorado y Chespirito eh, que regresará tan pronto podamos. Eh... Yo creo que Mario, especulo, pero Mario yo creo que sabía esa noticia, no sé por qué siento que Mario <ríe> yo también creo. tenía conocimiento absoluto de esa noticia. Dice, por su parte, Florinda Mesa, Ajá. viuda de Gómez Bolaños, sí. también lamentó que se deje de transmitir el programa Chespirito y se quejó porque inexplicablemente no fue convocada a las negociaciones. ¿Y ella tendrá ahí parte? Yo creo, dice, es triste comprobar cómo en tu propia casa a la que le has dado millones de dólares, es donde menos te valoran. Tal vez algunos ejecutivos sin visión lo quieren borrar, pero en el corazón y la memoria de los buenos que siempre lo han seguido, seguirá. Tan raro. Dijo bueno, pero... Mesa. Todo por plata. Siempre es así. Siempre. Lástima. Sí. El chavo. Yo me acuerdo llegando del colegio a ver el chavo. En cualquier de la universidad, a ver el chavo. Sí. Del jardín, a ver así? el chavo. En cualquier, a sí. cualquier hora, en cualquier día, estaba el chavo. Eh, Marcelo Peralta said, This fight over the rights of transmitting Chávez is going on here too. Is it called Chávez there? ¿O qué crees que son las, eh, los discursos de No, de no, como un typo. No, 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 es Chávez, es Chávez. Varias veces. Es Chávez, es Chávez. Mi prima dice, sí, ya no lo dan acá. As far as I know. Sí, lástima. Mario dice, claro, me tocó volver a mañanas de sábados con los hermanos Grimm. A eso sí siguen, eso sí siguen. Eso sigue desde que mi mamá era bebé, creo. <ríe> sí, sí, eso sí Hermanos siguen Hermanos Grimm, siguen. creo que fue el primer programa de la televisión, la televisión. Javi Hav dice, el Chompiras, siempre mi favorito. Yo a mi primito de cuatro años le digo Chompiras. Y yo le digo Chompelotas. Chompelotas, Chompirín, pero sí yo le digo el Chompiras. Caipiriña. Caipiriña nunca le ha dicho a nadie. Pero, pero ahorita, bueno. Chompiriña, puede ser. No, porque está, se aleja del Chompiras. Está cogiendo velocidad. Y a él le encanta que uno le diga el Chompiras. El Chompelotas. ¿Sabes que yo nunca le he mostrado quién es el Chompiras? ¿No? No, le tengo que mostrar. No, pero un niño... No, yo creo que es muy difícil. Pues le muestro que existe un Chompiras. ¿Él? Mm. Él, obvio. Pero, no sé. Bueno, no sé uno a qué horas, a qué edad comenzó a ver el chavo. Yo, por eso te digo, yo llegaba del jardín a ver el chavo. En tu jardín, a uno le ponían sí. el chavo en el jardín. <ríe> sí. Había clase de... Clase de chavo. Sí. Eh... Sí, Mar... yeah, Marcelo Peralta said, yes, here is Chávez. Eh... Lauto... Lautaro Carroza dice, hola Nicolás, sé que te gusta el fútbol. ¿Me sí, puede... nombre, tiene nombre de... Futbolista del Inter, Lautaro. Y dice... El que nos hizo el gol. ¿Me podrías decir, sí, por quién simpatizas en Argentina? Uy, complicado. Porque es que yo soy de millonarios acá. Yo soy gallina. Entonces... Eh, entonces... Es difícil porque en, en River pues han jugado colombianos, que esa es la otra razón por la que uno normalmente es hincha de algún equipo. Mm, estoy tratando de pensar en eh, colombianos así que hayan jugado, colombianos como súper conocidos que jugaron en equipos argentinos. Mm, pero normalmente, o sea, creo que en donde más ha habido es en Boca, obviamente. Entonces pues le iba a Boca cuando jugaban colombianos. Pero también le iba a River cuando estaba Ángel, 
Yepes. Eh, pero, cuando jugó Teo. Pero, sí, no sé. La verdad no, no tengo... No tengo muchos, muchos equipos. Soy fan de Fontana Rosa y creo que él es de Rosario, entonces voy a decir, eh, como adoro tanto a Fontana Rosa, voy a decir Rosario. Listo, esa fue... <ríe> Salí como por el ladito de esa, de esa pregunta. Eh... Sí, pero ¿quiénes juegan ahorita ya? En Boca. ¿Fabra? Pero no sé si esté jugando Cardona, tampoco sé si esté jugando, jugando. Mm. Mm. Eh, a ver, miremos. Cody Winicky said, My daughter, as a Lia, just came out to my studio to draw while I paint. Oh. She wants to say hi to you guys, Shout but she's being to... shy. Hi, as how are you? Well, we have shy. to ask. We have to ask Am about how it? to pronounce okay. the name. So. Yeah, because you have to know that I always mispronounce. Because for us, it would be Azalea. Uh -huh. I think in English it's uh, Azalea. Oh, maybe. Maybe. How did I say it? Azalea. Oh, you just you you always give it like a little twirl. <laughs> you always give it like a I little sum do. sum. Yeah. You put some spice in the names. But we're happy to have you here. Yeah, super, super uh, happy. And what are you drawing? This was uh, Cody's? Um, yeah. Yeah. Cody's daughter. Yeah. Because Cody's painting and she came uh, to the studio to draw while he That's paints. That's awesome. Which is amazing. Yes. Mm, Patricio don't, Juarez. Oh, Azalea, sorry. Don't, don't tell your dad, but you're so much better than Cody. So much better than your dad. Patric But don't tell him. This is between you and I. Don't say anything. <laughs> Nobody's noticing. Patricio Juárez dice, Falcao jugó en River. Ay, Falcao, sí, sí, perdón, perdón. Como colombiano, uno siempre le va a donde estén. Incluso yo que, que no soy hincha del Real, por ejemplo, que no me cae para nada bien el Real. ¿Cuando James? Sí, yo no, le hacía fuerza. Pues le hacía fuerza a James. Y a mí me daba duro porque en esa época yo era... Barça. Sí, pero uno le hacía fuerza a James. Eh, o sea, en, en el clásico tú ibas por, pues por, por el Barça. Pues por el Barça. ¿Verdad? No, sí. yo siempre quería que James hiciera como una jugada, un gol. No, en esa época, pues si soy sincera, por el Barça. ¿Qué? ¿Para qué digo mentiras? ¿Para qué le digo que no? Sí, sí. Samu, Samu también es hincha del... Bueno, pero Samu tuvo su época del Real. Sí. Es que sí, el Barça ahorita no... No, está, está mucho mejor. Está mejor, pero... Sí, incluso juega hoy. Sí. Toca decirle a Samu que después nos diga... ¡Samu! No, <ríe> no te voy a oír no. ahorita. Estoy haciendo tareas, papá. ¿Qué no, pasa? debe estar como... ¿Qué están hablando? No, pero Samu está pendiente del Barça. Pues pero es no la... de nosotros. A lo es, que la, es la Europa, es que pero... No va a escuchar. Es la Europa, entonces pues no importa si gran cosa, pero... Cody Winicky said, like the flower. Nicolás' English version, version was right. Although, if we came to Colombia, we would be fine with that too. She's drawing the same picture and painting, a memorial portrait for my friend's dad. Oh, that's very nice. That's, that's super very, very nice. nice. Super, super nice. Lautaro mm. Carosa. Dice Villa Campuzano. Y Cody, and Cody Winicky said, she's seven and way better than me. <laughs> They always are. They always are. I can say the same for uh, both my son and daughter. So. Uh, what time is it? Para que él entre. No, para, ah. est para estar pendiente. ¿De todavía Fer? no, todavía no. No, Fer llega a las cinco y media. Pero si tiene... Sí, te tiene pero si tú tiene? misma dijiste Dopo Scuola. Ah, sí, Dopo Scuola. Y yo con la aplicación ahí, comiéndose la batería. Um, Monique was asking if the liner helps to draw. Oh, yeah, that's its kind of purpose to... Um, 
to kind of put drawing marks and you could do it on top of like fresh paint. If you charge it with enough medium, you could paint with it on top of fresh paint. So it's actually really, really versatile. It's really, really good, but not for everyone. It doesn't mean that it's a great, you know, brush. A lot of people would be like, I don't know what to do with this. And that's fine too. It doesn't have to be good for everyone. Cuando estábamos hablando de eh, a quién se parecía, uh -huh. Iván dice que le recordó a Lemmy el de Motorhead. Ah, puede ser, sí. Puede ser, puede ser. Yo creo que en tu bar ponían Motorhead. Sí. O ponen. ¿Tú sabes si todavía está? Sí, creo que está. ¿Ya Además abrió? en tu bar, ¿no? Sí, en el bar donde trabajabas. En donde trabajé alguna vez. Sí. Lo ponían, sí, pero... Eh, no sé, a ver, busquemos si sí está abierto. Mi prima de pronto sabe, a mi prima le gustaba ese bar. Eh, sí, sí está abierto. Todavía. ¿Qué? Ahora abre... ¿A las cuatro? No, todos los días. Pues les toca tratar de reponer pandemia. Todos los días de 8 p.m. a 4 a.m. ¿Y los sábados? ¿Y qué? ¿Y los domingos de 2 a 10 p.m.? Se volvió Andrés. Se Uy, volvió sí. familiar. Sí, más eh, largo el horario. ¿Mario ha vuelto? ¿Mario Alberto? Sí, a Mario iba más a los de bailar, bailar, bailar. ¿Sí? Sí, yo lo veía más, yo lo vi más cuando estaba en los otros dos. Pero mejor no digas estas cosas en público. Lombia. ¿Por qué? Uno no sabe. Uno no Igual sabe no nuevo. estoy diciendo nombres ya de los bares. Ya echaste el agua a Cacaito. <ríe> no, yo me acuerdo de Mario, él siempre iba a saludar, Mario era muy amable, siempre ha sido muy amable y siempre iba, hola Daniela, y yo, hola Mario. Y ahí charlábamos un ratico. Pero sí, siempre iba a los de bailar. Yo solo me acuerdo que cuando salimos con él, duró aproximadamente hora y media en el baño. ¿Qué? Sí, tirado en el baño, pero bueno. ¿Cómo así? Pues es, es, le dio duro, lo, lo, le cogió duro... Uh -huh. D was asking, will you paint Ozzy? Ozzy? Ozzy, um, maybe, maybe. I'm like speculating, um, thinking of how many of the people that I already painted, uh, people are going to ask for. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of fun. <laughs> I remember there was, did you saw the, did you see mm -hmm. the... Osborns? Like I the remember TV? in my time, I remember. Yeah. Like they were so popular in MTV. When MTV yeah. was like super popular, I, I remember. Yeah. But um, like the Kardashians of the MTV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember that. But if you ask me if I remember anything about the show, I don't. Like when he uh, flipped the. Um, The bike, the four, the four wheel bike, la cuatrimoto, mm -hmm. que se le volteó. I remember that part. I don't remember anything else. No, me neither. I, I just put it, like I just turned the TV with that while I was doing other things. Yeah. It wasn't like I was sitting there watching everything that happened. No. Yeah, but it was, it was very popular. Kakairo said that she, she only went to the... To the rock bar mm -hmm. that I uh, worked for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she only went to that. But Mario, but in the other hand, uh -huh. only went to the dancing one. Dancing really? One. No, I'm joking, but I think he preferred the dancing one. Maybe I'm mistaken, but I think that I uh, saw him more times there. I there, like in both of them, than in the rock one. I remember Cal went to the rug one. Yeah, that would be my bar too. 
Um, if I had to pick one. The others, I, I don't know if I could. I liked all of them. Kakairo. What was the name of the second one? Oh. What was the name of the second one? No, I don't want because I don't want to say names. Oh, okay. So the second one that had like um, the older music. Mm, it wasn't like older, but they had like a band. Let's see. There was one that had a band. There was one that was uh, reggaeton only. Yeah. That was uh, the last one I worked for. Yeah, not that one. And there was a rock one, the first one I worked for. Yeah, so the second one. If I ha if I didn't go to the rock one, I would go to the to that. The one. second one was like cross crossover, as we call crossover. it. Crossover. Crossover. Uh, Kakairo said, "Santi dice que deberías pintar a Ozzy, Coco. Entonces ya van dos votos." ¿Y qué qué Ozzy, Santiago? Ozzy viejito o Ozzy jovencito? Mario se debió ir. Pues es que está atrás. Mario trabaje. Qué vergüenza. <laughs> chévere, chévere eso. I just need like a like a clean, super geometric edge. Super sharp, yeah. Yeah. Super cool. In some sp in some parts, so. Who am I thinking of? Uh, regarding what? Regarding him. That's I super think it's similar to. No, I don't know. Maybe, but yeah. I don't know why. It wasn't like I saw the picture and I was like, oh, yeah. Did you ever watch that movie? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know then. Leslie Cavazos. Garduño Leslie? dice... No, <laughs> Le Le Leslie no se parece. Dice, ¿Qué estás diciendo? <laughs> o si joven con el murciélago en la boca. Sí, yo, eso iba a decir, <laughs> Leslie. El, el, ¿El joven que come murciélagos o, o el viejito que, que ya no puede hablar? Checa. Ah, pues, sí, porque Carly Spot dice viejito pero no veterano. Y Checa said, I love the way the nose overlaps the mustache. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's super cool. I haven't been able to like hit the 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 underplane of the nose quite right. It's driving me crazy. Like I'll get back to it. Like I I want to surround it with like um since I went with like a yellowy color, um I'm going to go for like a purple, you know, just do some little bit of uh complementaries. But I want to see how it begins to um to look if I do that. Um entonces, Santi se puso exigente. Ah, no. Dice, <coughs> Cacaito dice. Sí. Santi dice que una mezcla entre el Ozzy del video de No More Tears y el de Hellraiser. Uf, bueno, uf, está re específico. Por eso dije. Sí, Uy, pucha. Uno les da la mano, ¿no? Uno les da la mano. Y con un murciélago en la boca también. Se cogen hasta el... Tobillo. Katrina Langstroth mm -hmm. said, I tried painting on unprimed paper the other day. How did it, it is, go? And it is so, so different from working over old paintings yes. or unprimed canvas. Yes, it is. And did you like it, Katrina? Yeah, a lot of people get excited about trying it out. And then they hate and it. And then they go like, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Not for me. It doesn't have to be for everyone. No. I like it. It's like everything else. It's different. But you know why I like it? Because uh, when I was in the university, I yeah. tried... Um, painting on my sketchbook. Yeah. But I just painted on my sketchbook. Like, I didn't have, like, a primer or anything. Oh, yeah. I just did it. I mean... That's perfect. That's what sketchbooks are for. 
to like not really think about it too much yeah. and just do it. Yeah, that's why maybe I don't find it that weird. Mm. But because I I did it without thinking about how it would feel. You're right, right. Katrina said it was a little frustrating at first, but I liked it. Cool. Well, it's a possibility. As as long as you kind of remember it, you know, if you put it in your brain and you say, okay, this is something that I could, you know, I could use. And like, as Danny was saying, it doesn't have to be the uh, substrate that you do your paintings on all the time, but maybe it's the substrate that you use to sketch, for example. So you don't really kind of think about it too much. And you, ju you know that you have a surface that lends itself really nicely to promote the idea of sketching. Enzo Eak dice, mm -hmm. ¿conoces a Sebastián Kruger? Sí, claro, hemos hablado mucho de, de Kruger. No, ¿Se referirán a que si lo conoces, conoces? Ah, no, per no, personalmente no, no, no. No. Y creo que yo normalmente soy como sinvergüenza en eso, que pues sinvergüenza en el sentido como literal de la palabra, eh, que le escribo a los artistas, no, mentiras, creo que dije eso mal. Sí. Sinvergüenza en el sentido okay. que que le escribo a los artistas que me gustan, entonces, pero estoy pensando que nunca le he escrito a, a, a él. Pero él ya es muy grande, él ya, desde hace mucho tiempo. Es como, creería yo que es el caricaturista más famoso del mundo. Mm. Emicia Nuro dice, ¿alguno de los dos conoce a alguien con sinestesia? Eh, no. No. ¿Por qué, Emi? Será por lo que estábamos hablando, como de a qué sabe el verde. Ah. ¿Será? Es lo, pues, o sea, es lo, la pues única sí, ¿no? como asociación que estoy. No. Pero, pues, no sé, que nos dejen, que nos deje Emi saber. Eh... Liad said, I hate painting on every absorbent surfaces. Yeah, it's on a tough one. On very absorbent Yeah, it's surfaces. a tough one. It's a tough one. I totally get it. I used to dislike it a ton, Liad. Like, I can't tell you how much I dreaded having to paint on, on absorbent surfaces. Um, I don't know what changed, honestly. It's, it's um, hard to... Uh, it's hard to try and pinpoint why it... You know, it suddenly made sense years later, but um, but no, I I used to feel the same way. Like I I I think I would try to push myself just to you know just to make myself go through that experience. But um, yeah, but I wasn't fond of it at all. So. Ah, sí. Mira, Emi dice sí, jaja, por lo de oír o saborear un color. Hmm. Luisa, no sé si quedó así con COVID. Yo no sé a qué le sabrán las cosas hoy en día. Yo creo que nada le sabe, pero no es como que le sepa Pero ella intercambió, amarillo. sí, no, 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 pues sí. Pero ella dijo, yo me acuerdo, que no, huelo el violeta, perfume no. que a ella le encantaba que usa el esposo. Sí. <ríe> qué raro decir el esposo que usa Santiago. Sí. Eh, que como que le encantaba como olía y una vez se lo echó y ella decía huele horrible, huele horrible, que huele y se dio cuenta que era el perfume ¿te acuerdas? no, no me acuerdo, pero ¿No? te creo sí, 100% no, 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 o sea, te creo, te creo no lo estoy poniendo en duda, lo que pasa es que no me acuerdo yo no me acuerdo de nada, linda no, yo sí pongo atención a todo no, ¿qué dijiste? <risa> D said I tried painting on unprimed moleskin paper and the paper absorbed the oil making my paint dry Yeah, that's one of the reasons why. <laughs> that's why one of the reasons, cool. if not the reason, that I use it. Yeah. Juan Salinas dice, Hola chicos, ahora qué medium o diluyente están usa estás usando para pintar? En... Usted dijo que trata de no usar trementina. No. ¿Cómo hace para que no se haga pastiche? Eh, parte es, supongo que todas las variables ayudan, entonces... Bueno, en este momento no, no hay ningún medio y tampoco hay solvente. Entonces, es solo, solo pintura. Pero si se da cuenta, la manera como pinto es, eh, son decisiones como singulares 
todo el tiempo. O sea, yo no muevo mucha pintura, sino que es una decisión singular, luego otra, luego otra, luego otra. Y trato de construir la pintura como con base en esas decisiones. Eh, ¿Y qué era lo otro? Ah, mm. no, no recuerdo. Ah, y, y pues, ¿Qué cómo en... haces para que no se haga pastiche? No, pues sí, a, a punta de decisiones como singulares, pero... Y en cuanto al solvente, no, no, desde hace, o sea, no, en todo Our Painted Lives creo que no hemos, no, no nunca ha usado solvente. Sí, si acaso de medio usas un poquito de liquid. Sí, el liquid pero sí, hoy no. el liquid sí, por ejemplo, para la pintura que estoy haciendo para el ejercicio que hacemos con, con Dani. Eh, Uy, spoilers. Estoy usando liquid <risa> eh, para esa pintura, pero, pero no, por lo general nada. O sea, si lo ve, esto es lo que uso para pintar. Entonces, habría, por ejemplo, aquí hay como una, unos remanentes de liquid por acá. Pero, pero si estuviera usando, lo vería. Vería el medio, vería, me vería chuc, 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 como eh, poner los pinceles en, en solvente todo el tiempo. Pues para, para limpiarlos, al menos. Como no los limpio, tengo que ser como una pelota y tengo que usar muchos. Y siempre los pones en tu mano, en la otra mano. Sí. Siempre. Yo me acuerdo al principio de los videos, yo te tenía que decir... Ay, me decías, estás sácalos. tapando. Claro, porque... Estás tapando con la otra mano. Acuérdate que te tenía mano. que decir... Yo tenía que hacer como freeze frames, como sí. congelar momenticos, porque a veces tapabas tanto la pintura... Sí, sí. Que nunca se veía. Era sí. cabeza... Todo eso lo cortaba yo y luego era pinceles. Sí, el, cabeza, el, pincel, cabeza, fe, pincel. Festículo y... <ríe> y pinceculo. Y pinceles ahí y todos pinceculo. metidos. Eh, Javier Chacón dice, saludos. Nicolás, este proceso me resulta interesante en la forma que escoges la paleta con varios matices. ¿Es premeditado o ya lo ves en la imagen? Eh, Otra no. pregunta. Ah, perdón. ¿Cuándo vemos a Dani pintando en...? Eh, no sé si es en vivo eh... bueno, Dani ya ha respondido a veces voy a responder por Dani porque ha respondido muchas, o sea, es la nueva papa eh, Dani dice muchas gracias por el interés que tienen eh... Dani dice todo esto lo está diciendo porque sí. Eh, sí, no lo, he, a... lo he respondido es muy chistoso porque a veces cuando se repiten las preguntas para Nicolás yo las respondo y ahora que se repite para mí. Sí, la única razón por la que estamos haciendo este juego es porque... Sí, no es como que él esté respondiendo porque, por sí, mí, Porque ¿no? sí, yo no puedo hablar por Dani, no, no, no. obviamente. Nosotros somos muy Sino que me ha oído tanto que... A ver, sí, a ver sí. si me has puesto atención. Y porque el juego es que cuando me preguntan sobre cosas técnicas, yo, yo a veces le digo a Dani, Dani, contéstame. Contesta, contesta esa pregunta que ya la han hecho muchas veces. Pero, pues, no es irrespetuosa, o sea, no, obviamente siempre con respeto. No, 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 pero yo quiero saber, a ver, cuánta entonces, atención me has puesto. Eh, Dani, ¿cuánta atención? ¿Cómo así? A ver, eh, ¿qué dije? No, Dani, Dani dice que no primero, sabe. Primero, muchas gracias. Primero, muchas gracias, muchas gracias por la, por la... Por el interés. Por el siempre interés, por el apoyo. agradezco muchísimo que sí. se interesen por mi trabajo. Sí, sí. Eh, pero, pero... No, sin pero. Eh, y segundo, y segundo uh -huh. eh, lo que pasa es que los tiempos de Dani eh, al pintar o al hacer una escultura son distintos y de pronto no uh -huh. se prestan tanto como para hacer algo en vivo porque estaría pintando a un... 24 horas. Estaría pintando, sí, a sí. una, digamos, a una velocidad que es perfecta, o sea, no tiene nada de malo porque obviamente no tiene nada de malo uno pintar más lento, más rápido, eso, eso es una cosa totalmente arbitraria. Eh, pero entonces digamos que no, no, no sabe, Dani siempre dice que no sabe, pues si se prestaría como para que la sí. gente estuviera ahí viéndola y trabajar. Yo creo también eh, que yo lo, pues he dicho un poquito sobre esto antes Javier, y es que yo trabajo normalmente en formatos chiquitos, pero además normalmente no pinto el todo, sino que pinto como lugares chiquitos con detalle, y yo creo que sería muy difícil poner una cámara donde yo pueda acercarme de la manera que me acerco al papel, porque yo siempre estoy, o sea, si este es el papel, yo estoy trabajando acá, siempre estoy súper, súper pegadita, pero dije que voy a intentar eh, mirar a ver si de pronto en mi Instagram, que es este de acá, y el Instagram de Nicolás es el de allá, por si quieren también revisarlo, eh, voy a tratar de 
encontrar la manera de hacer de pronto algunos time lapse o tomar varias fotos y montarlas como en un video para que se vea un poquito el proceso. Pero de nuevo, muchísimas gracias por, por el interés. Me interrumpiste cuando estaba respondiendo por ti, pero ah, bueno, ¿sí? está bien, no, está bien. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Cuéntame, bien, ¿qué más de eso? No, 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 tranquila. <ríe> eh, Ali Farid said, does painting fast help counter the effect of the absorbent surface? I don't know. I don't know if speed has anything to do with it, to be honest. And I, I don't want to counter anything. Like, I, oh. I'm happy. <laughs> no. I'm super Dios interrupted mio, no. today. Por favor. <laughs> Tambo. Uh, Dios, dame paciencia. And I was going to say, Ali, uh, my, the last painting I did, it was oil on paper. And, I mean, I did it at my time which is like super slow cooking. So I don't think it's different. Like, I don't think it's like if you work super slow in paper, then you can't work on unprimed paper. I didn't feel that. Yeah, I, I would agree with you there. There? Only there? Well, with <laughs> a lot of stuff, but specifically what you're saying right now, I would agree with. Okay. <laughs> Don't hit me. What are you doing? Not not funny. Um let's see. Oh, I was gonna do a would you rather for you. Okay. I was thinking about it. Oh, okay. Go ahead. And I want to know what people would rather do. So Yeah. Would you rather be yes. able to what? See art. See art. But okay. Never produce art. Oh, so be an observer. Yeah. Okay. Or be able to produce art, but never being able to see what other people are doing. What other people? But you would be able to see what you are doing. Yeah. Well, obviously. So creating your work oh, and that's only a good seeing one. your work, mm. like not being able to go to museums. Oh, not that's Not being a tough able one. to uh, work with more people. Like, mm. you would just be able to see what you are doing or being able to see everything, but oh. not being able to paint Oof. again, ever, or sculpt or draw or whatever. Oh, wow. Is one more selfish than the other, do you think? Mm, no. No? I don't think it is. Wow, that's a tough one. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a good one. It's uh, a very good one. Aaron Sh Aaron Smiths yeah. said produce art for sure. So they would choose to produce pr art. To produce art, yeah. Yeah, the thing is, well, I, I think I'm gonna answer the same, but here's here's my reason. And I guess everyone can share the reasons too. Um when I when I paint, I don't think I'm producing art. I don't think of art at all, of the idea of art, how we understand it, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't think about that. I really don't. I just think that this makes me feel better. Like, this makes me f understand things. It just, you know, I don't know how good of a human being I would be if I don't paint. Sure, I could live. I could survive. I'm sure of it. Mm -hmm. And I could be, you know, very appreciative of nature and every, you know, society, good, you know, cool people. But I don't, I think I would be at some, you know, at some level miserable. So I don't want to be miserable. Mm -hmm. So if you told me right now that I can't go to a museum, to any single gallery or museum ever again, or but that would mean like I can't play video games, I can't watch movies. And you couldn't even see your oh phone. Oh my God. Like Instagram? No. You couldn't Google an image, nothing. Like. Oh, foy, oh God. Oof, so this is like... Shiana said, can't imagine life without observing a Rembrandt for Nicolas. Oh, no, but, you know, but I, I've i been very lucky in life that I've seen, you know, dozens of Rembrandts in yeah. real life. You know what's the thing? The thing is that if you say, I'm going to produce, but I'm not going to see more art, yeah. you've already seen a lot. In my case, I, like I think I'm lucky, and I think that I could say... 
You know, if somebody told me, you'll never travel again, you'll never see art again. Yeah. No, but what I'm trying to say is that if the question was, like, you would have everything that you've seen erased from your mind. Oh, like, what? Like, never, ever seeing no, art, but, but like producing. A, yeah, no, no, that's why I'm saying it. I think it's kind of, uh, like, when you, s for example, I would say I'm going to produce art. But I also have in me, like, I've saved the things that I loved and the things that I enjoyed from art. Yeah. So it's like I'm saying bye to something, but it's something that I've already appreciate. Like I've already been in touch with. It's exactly. not like. Yeah, yeah. I get you. Like, like I'm, I'm feeling the same way. Yeah. It's like saying bye to something, but it's not like. Right. But, but to say goodbye to definitively see. Yeah, to that, it. Oof. I don't know, like to never watch like a movie again or play like a video game because video games are art. Let's not have this discussion. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's a tough one. So let's see what people are oh, saying. Wow. What do you do to entertain yourself? Like you have to be it's it's very hermit like. Yeah, yeah, but come, but no, you could go outside. You could go walk. Yeah, you, you could be, uh, no, like hermit like in a sense like. Very, uh, like we were saying, like a monastic life. Like you start looking at nature and you can't read a book. You can't do anything. Yeah, you can read a book, but you can't see. Oh, is it just visual? Yeah. Oh, so I can read? Yeah. Oh, 100% then. Oh, that does it. I'll replace everything yeah. with reading. Yeah, I'm fine. I'd be fine. Yeah, me too. Now that you gave me books, that one. I'm fine. Mm. Yeah, but I, I think that I, if, if like I stop. I'm, I'm trying to stop to think that like in my game you could listen to music and you could read books but like the visual part of arts like sculptures paintings drawings you could i mean it's, i mean it's a that huge huge ever. like um loss so like you wouldn't even have your figures oh kill me yeah, because they are art and they're sculpted. They are very much art. So and that's what you would lose like them all. Say. You would lose all the things we have here that we've bought from other artists. That's very sad. Well, we don't lose it. We just give it to Samu. Can Samu watch them and can he describe them to me? Well, Could you watch them? Could you see them? But can you describe them to me? Cause mm, that, that, I think you're stretching a little bit. I've what? didn't even No, because I didn't even thought about that. Well, I always but, think about um, you. You know, I could live through your experience, which would be kind of nice, I guess. But let's say... Like if you were playing Elden Ring, you could tell me how you did today. And you'd yeah. be like, oh my God, there was this boss that was like a spider. And now I would be, oh, I can't manage the camera. Yeah, I can't play. This is too tough. And I'd be like, God, why? No, you know, play, give me a month. <laughs> Do you know? Do you know what? Do you know what game we could play? But it's very difficult. Give me a month. Yeah. Water, and food, and we, no, no obligations. Thing? Okay. Is this like a real thing? No, 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 no. Do I have to? No, I'm gonna. Do I have to work for no, that? No, no, no. I would. I'm gonna say that what? I think, like I know myself, and I think that if you give me a month. Yeah. I would play the game. Like even if I don't understand it. Yeah, At nobody understands. Nobody understands. Don't worry. I would be there, like a hundred percent. Like I would end up being a good player, not like a extraordinary player. Oh no, no, no. Player, like those people, like. But I would be able you know, to YouTube, play it a hundred percent. No, of course not. Yeah, That's no. Not but uh, what I'm trying to say is that there's a lot of people that you could leave them one month with a video game and they just can't. Oh no, I I have full trust in you. I think you're you're very good. You could you would learn super quickly. I would be mm, able to. Uh, I th you know, we could kind you. of put that to test. There is a game that's very, very tough. That's called uh, Returnal. Mm -hmm. That they said people always complained because it's a single-player game um, and it's very hard. It's it's super, super tough. Mm -hmm. And they just made it so you can play. I think couch co-op. So you know, I could play with you mm -hmm. right next to me, and y we could help each other out. Mm -hmm. We could try it. And maybe, like, I never, I didn't want to play that game because I'm not usually good at the, those games. Um, but I think that maybe we could both play.
play it. You're not. I mean, you have to get used to camera. That's that's your yeah, thing. You have that's to also like. That's why I said give me a month, like to really get to play that much with the camera that yeah. I know that I can that's handle awesome. it. So, but wait, because yeah. we were uh, in. Would you rather? No. So I would rather um, produce uh, paint. Yeah, well, me too. I, I, I'm just going to put it as paint. Yeah, but the thing is that I opened it up to produce because when I think about it, it's not about just painting. Like, okay. I would sculpt, I would paint, I would draw. Oh, right, right, right. So but, I, you know, I was trying to, to, to uh, take I away the... I would create the, uh, or I would... No, I don't know how to say it. Like, I would... You know, I just said PS5 uh, multiplayer and I just got a notification on my phone like... Best Always PS5. Listening to us. I know. I mean, I don't mind the. Uh... Well, sometimes <laughs> I do. <laughs> um. So let's see. Uh, Aaron Schmitz, who said produce art for sure, also said, "I appreciate others for doing what they do, but my enjoyment of creating outweighs my enjoyment of consuming art." I think so. Yeah. I think mine is like a need also. Katrina. Langstroth said, produce art as well. Not being able to even doodle while listening to people would be horrible. Um, Cody Winicky said, you would have to be a painting hermit in the woods. Yeah, it's that's a it's tough. I, I don't think this that's a good one, Danny, because there's not an easy answer to this one. Yeah. Jose Fail said, I can't think of creating art without being inspired by other art. That's also true. That changes everything. It's not a, lo a loss because I was already jamming to music and creating things before I was thought how to look at art. Um, and Katrina Longstroth said, you would have to use auditory entertainment. Yeah, but I mean, you would be in entertained, but it's not the same. Like, it's super different what I get from uh, listening to music, yeah, than yeah, from it's it's something looking at art, and different. I'm not saying like this one's big. No, th that doesn't matter. I mean, you could love music and love painting or art, but it's like a different feeling. Oh yeah, it's your like, brain like yeah. light, it lights up in very different areas. Yeah. yeah. Mm, so yeah, I think everyone would choose maybe producing art. But I think it was a tough one. Yeah, because I would have to look for another job also, right? Why? Like, if I can't... If I say, no, I want to enjoy art. I want to consume art. I oh, want to yeah. enjoy it. No, I thought that if you choose producing art, no, you could keep the no, job no. we had. If, if I choose, if I choose um, consuming, I, you know... Yeah, you would have to. I can't paint completely for a change yeah. your life. Yeah. Woof, that's a tough one too. Yeah, that's why I would like. That's also a factor why I would choose producing art. Yeah, that's a that's a tough one. It's a that's a real tough one. And what's the game about? The one you were telling me? The one we could do uh coach. It's um Um how to describe it. It's bullet hell. So what that means is usually like um you know those games that they're they're not usually three D, but that you're like a little ship and you have to there's a bunch of enemies and you have to like shoot all of them and you have to dodge. Mm -hmm. uh, but imagine that, but you are in third person. So you are um this woman who's like, uh, let's say like an astronaut. She's, mm -hmm. you know, she's exploring this planet. She just happens to, I don't know much about the, ga about the game, but I know the premise. Mm -hmm. So she, she just appears in this planet. And it's, um, it's a rogue, I think it's rogue light, maybe. Uh, in the sense that it's one of these games that uh, you can die and you have to start from the beginning. But you wow, don't, okay. yeah, but you don't lose everything, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so you don't lose, for example, the... Like, I don't remember, I don't know if it's a run-based game mm -hmm. or I, I'm not entirely sure about that. But usually what you want is to finish it, like, you won't, um, 
like you can finish it in a couple of hours if you know what you're doing. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's one we of should those. try it. Yeah, and the game. I think I remember people saying that it looks amazing. So I love good-looking games. Like I'm a sucker for uh, for visuals. So. Aaron Schmidt said, "In some alternate reality, Nick is a professional art critic." Oh, oh. I don't know. Or you could be an art collector. Oh, art collecting! I would love. I mean, yeah. Just you know, being able to support people that I yeah, find no, exciting. Yeah, no. I was trying to think if you w wouldn't be able to produce art, oh, you would what, collect would I... a lot of art. Yeah, but then I have to be a millionaire. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I love how you say. Yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> like yeah, if it sure. was a breezy. Yeah. Uh, Katrina Langstroth said, "Wait." Wait. Would you not be able to look at your own tattoos if you didn't do them yourself? Yeah. So the tattoos would be erased. Gone. They would be gone. Yeah, but someone fair, fair, fair. someone fair are still here. So. But you wouldn't be able to see what they did. So are they invisible to me? Other people can see them? Mm, that's interesting. Yeah. So can we go watch a movie and can you... Because, you know, in some ways, what you're describing is like a visual impairment, let's say. So maybe... If no, because you're able to see what you're doing. No, but like... Like you're able to see everything, just not art. Yeah. No, I was thinking like if we go see a movie and you tell me... I mean, people would hate us, but you, if you narrate the movie to me. It's like, what's going on? That would be super hard for me what's to pay on? attention to the movie. So and you go see it first alone and then we go see it together. I would do that for you. Yeah, well, of course I would do that for you too, but... Yeah. I don't know. But you I'm don't thinking, sound super convinced. No, no, no. Because I'm thinking like if you if you try to tell me mm -hmm. what a movie is about with yeah. e every detail, well, it wouldn't be near the same experience. But I don't have like a point of reference. so No, you, you have know, it because you've be seen like things in your life. Like now you can't see them. Yeah, but maybe so it could be. So now you couldn't play. But maybe it could you be a can't cool experience. Play. You yeah. know, it's not a movie like I remember a movie but it's a you know a narrated movie Yuan said I don't like this game <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah Aaron Schmidt said you could read the subtitles and listen to the sounds too <gasps> yes you're right you're right oh I could do that yeah I could do that <laughs> <laughs> Jose Fail said I can't see a movie with my mom because she narrates the movie as a first time <laughs> watcher to the entire the entire, entire time. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Cody Winicky said, Haha, Danny's like, I'm not narrating for you. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We I all would. saw that, right? <laughs> we all heard that. <laughs> no, of course I would. It was super loud no, for me, too. I was Thank just you. trying Thank you for to, picking that up. No, no. I was trying to think how hard it would be. Like, in this moment, there's a car. Yeah, I think you realized how hard something. it would be and how much you were not into it. No, I would be. I, You know me. Like, if we could do this this uh, weekend, I'm no, up No, Danny it. would do it. Danny would take notes the first time she sees the movie. And yeah, I would like, be that person. Yeah, yeah. I I'm would kidding. take your hands and kind of show you yeah. around, like, like how in the space Honestly, it is. Honestly, I would walk out of the theater. I would be like, Danny, that's enough. D I like, think that you would be... Terrible. Like, no, no, no. No, but I think that it would be harder for you to describe it to me. Yeah. Because you get lost, like paying attention. Yeah, that's why I said you could watch so it. So I would you be watch like, first. "What's happening?" And you would be Shh, like, "Wait, sh wait." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would be you. <laughs> Super important part. Not me. What are you I doing? mean, you know me. I would be like, "Now there's wind," and I would like <sighs> blow yeah. air in your face. Oh my so god, you I could don't feel like this anymore. Everything. No, I don't like this anymore. Thank <laughs> you. I'm out. But that's check, the, please. That's the type of commitment I always have. So yeah. Um. Eh, Carly Spot dice Eso suena tipo Being Nicolás Uribe Mismo cast Malkovich se gana un Oscar <laughs> eh, 
Buena peli, muy buena. Eh, ¿Tú no te has visto Being John Malkovich, no es no. cierto? José Fail que... said, oh my God, that's a paradox. Eh... La tenemos que ver. Eh, GP said, Herbert and Dorothy Vogel built a fantastic collection on a civil servant's salary. There is a great documentary on them. Yeah, I mean, I think we, because we don't like to use the term collect, and I'm, of course, I'm not trying to compare to their collection, but I would say that we oh, try I to mean, collect a lot of yeah, art. Yeah, yeah, I, I think... Um, and it's not like, oh, you have to be rich when we to said, support... When we, said, when we said that, it was like, in, at some point, like, tongue-in-cheek, because um, I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with, with our philosophy behind, like, our painted lives, and... A lot of what we do is is trying to push the um, the idea that art is accessible and that there is like um, a market of art that is very much so open to people that don't really think that they are the people that you know should buy art or could buy art. So no, we we are we are super super conscious of that, and um, you know we we've been true to that with with all the stuff that we've. Um, That we've collected so yeah and gp also said also i got jay mitchell and he looks great on my wall oh that's awesome. amazing um let me see matt said it would just be a very overly complicated audiobook at that point <laughs> oh yeah yeah and jose fail said this is what i do when my partner falls asleep Well, we're watching a show and I'm recapping. Too immersive. That's me. I mean, yeah. if you're like, oh, Danny, I like for some reason we can't go back to seeing what you see, what you saw. Yeah. I would act that for you. Like, you oh, know, no. me. oh, this is getting. I would like, be like part one. Yeah, no. And change the outfit. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> you know me. I is know, but I'm out if, with with all your. <laughs> With every explanation, with every new explanation, I'm like, oh, I don't think I'm gonna paint again. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, you know what? I want to. I want to watch movies in silence. No, let's say. No. Yeah, I'm and not painting. I'm done. No, I think. No, and I have to I say, think, you know, if I'm honest, I've painted enough years. I have to I'm say, I'm happy. I never speak well while, while I'm lo uh, watching a movie. I'm happy. I think I, no, 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 but you know, me, painting has given me enough. <laughs> Stop your joke. And I just, um, I just want to play video games for the rest uh, okay. of my days. Okay. So, yeah. So I was gonna say that I never, like, I never talk to you when we're watching a movie. No. But the thing is that if you would ask me to do it, like, if you wouldn't, if you couldn't see the movie. And you really wanted every detail, I could give you every detail. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I would be open to going that far I know. for you to being able to uh, not see, because you wouldn't be able to see the movie as I saw it, but to kind of experience the movie. Um, yeah, no. Like I'm, in. No, I'm watching the movie. <laughs> yeah. No, I was gonna say, but if you, you just to want thank me you. to I would be, like, be no, thank silent, you. you would... No, thank you. Yo te diría, lindita, gracias. No. Bueno, tú te yeah. lo pierdes. Yeah. Ya había yo armado acá el... I know, el no. Tras bambalinas. Sí. The, the moment that I saw you buying costumes, I was like, <laughs> oh, no. I'm selling my brushes. <laughs> uh, but the thing is that you already decided, so... There's yeah, no I'm good. I'm back. good. Yeah, I mean, I'll miss painting, not but going I'm fine. Back. I'll miss painting, but I'm fine. By the way, yeah, I have to say it because I Tell have me. to. Yeah, I love the um, image that Matt has. Yeah. It's the Doodle Bob. So What's I love it. Bob? The Doodle SpongeBob. Do oh, you remember right, right, that right. chapter? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's called Doodle Bob, so. Mm, I love it. Yeah. 
Did you have like stickers of or, or something of of that? Of the doodle bob? No. Yeah, something. We had something with that. Mm, I don't remember. I think so. <laughs> Look. <laughs> That's a good shirt. Yeah. Ivan said, I'm buying your brushes. <laughs> <laughs> They're very uh, cheap. <laughs> but I need to do a, like an auction or something because I don't know what, what would I work on? What would be my job? Like what would we do? That's a tough one. You could I'm nervous now. stream playing video games. No, that's never going to work. We could do a podcast talking about art. Because we could talk about art. Thing is that you wouldn't be able to produce it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know if we get enough people interested in that. Mikhail I mean, you could take the reins. Y you could. You could be the one um, painting and, or working. Yeah. Well. And I would you be would the one talking. See the head. Again, because that's how I work. But yeah. No, that's fine. But, you know, you could take over and I, I would talk. Yeah, but the thing is that I'm here talking. Yeah. But then I paint and then I do things. Like, imagine. I'll play video games and watch um, and but watch Liverpool. Yeah, I'm but fine. No, yeah. I know. And I know that you're saying I'm fine. But yeah. after like a month, you wouldn't be that fine. I think so. No, not being able to do anything, Nicolas. You always draw. I know. Everywhere, like. But you know, if I just I watch Liverpool and and I play video. But games, Liverpool isn't playing all the days. Days that they're not playing, I play video games. No, I know that you're trying to be super cool with it, but I know that it would uh, take a toll on you. I really do think. Uh, Jose Fail said Danny would be producing it and you would be dubbing over over. Yeah, or the lives. I, I would just I would be the um community manager for Danny. I'm not your community manager. I'm saying what I would be. I'm not saying that that's your job. But I'm not. See, so again, I'm Mikhail not said, Jesus. how do you remove the paper from the sketchbook? How do you what? Remove the paper from the sketchbook. Um, not carefully. Not he carefully. just cuts uh, the, yeah, either rip like it or, the thread. Or just cut it with a, with a blade. Yeah. Mm. No, Aaron Schmidt said, okay, who else wants to see Danny and Nick switch roles for a week now? Oh, it won't be a week. <laughs> this is like a forever thing. <laughs> yeah, for me to do five paintings. If I commit, it's months. a forever thing. No, and my time uh, for producing. Complicated. Mm. Cody Winicky said, all of your paintings will go up in value since you won't be able to paint anymore. We don't own anything. Uh, you could just sell what you have. At an inflated rate, haha. <laughs> no. The thing is that also we don't have much. <laughs> we don't have anything. Like the secondary market, if it. It's all you guys. Yeah, that's cool for everyone that um helped us, but. Which we're good with that. Mm -hmm. I mean. No, I think the easiest one is that like you take over. I'm actually super happy now. Ivan dice se volvería Nicolás Patiño, haha, you would become sideshow Nicolás. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with that role. But Nicolás I don't think Patino. that I am sideshow, Daniela. No, so again, again, we're not talking yeah, about you're, you. You're talking about changing roles, and I don't think that that's my role. So I just no, no, no. So want I'm to not clarify. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm. We're, that that's not my work. So let's take work. the changing roles part of that. Um, I would be very happy to be your community manager. 
That would be the job that I, I give to myself, which has nothing to do with everything that you've done for our um, efforts. So, again, nothing to do with you. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Just want to make that super clear. I really don't have to, uh, Danny. I really don't have to. No, I know, I know. No, I'm just trying to say this because I know it's a joke. But I think that, uh, like, behind everything that people see, like, I do a lot of things for Danny, that's, your painted again, life. So that's not even. I think yeah, no, I don't know why I'm. That. Yeah, I don't know why I'm even like saying this. Mm. Matt said, I'd be really interested in seeing you guys switch too, honestly. If not for yeah, a week, then maybe just for a video. <laughs> uh, oh we'll see. God. Maybe for a video. Maybe. I am retiring young. No. Maybe yeah, for I a video, it would be but. Amazing. No, I, I don't would think. I live a very happy life. I live a if... happy life now. I know, I know. But again, this has nothing to do with, with the roles that. Let me start by saying this has nothing to do with the roles that we have uh, right now. I would live a very happy life just uh, playing video games, uh, watching some football, eating some pizza. I probably have like an early heart attack if that's all I do. Uh, and watching you work, that would be amazing. I would love to watch you work. Jeez, where did I leave that? Mm. Alejandro Morales said, Nicolás, I love this palette. You will definitely be using these colors again. And Alejandro also said, I have a proposal for a rock star portrait. Oh. Amy Winehouse. Oh, she's so cool. Yeah. I think I could do a good job. I'm sorry, I'm like mean? leaning. The yellow. I don't know where I put the yellow. You lost it the last day. No, last time yeah, I, that yellow has like legs. Do you it's want me to... Running help you the bismuth because that because you're kind of trapped there no 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 but let me see it's gotta be here i think it's down no Look. no no i think it's in this the one. bottom i think it's this one yeah yeah okay you said no 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 it's not the same i believe nicolas and me and i are talking about he doing the least like playing video games and watching oh yeah soccer. i would you're so much proactive as yes. i said no 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 and i don't want to feel I don't want you guys to feel that I was like, don't say that I don't do anything. No, no, no. But I was trying to say that if the, the roles changed, you wouldn't be able to just play. Because I mean, that's, I mean, I don't have time to just lay there and do things. Again, like you would again, to, no, but that has nothing for, to do with you. No, yeah. But what I'm trying to say is that if you just watch video games yeah. and eat pizza amazing this wouldn't work what wouldn't work our work well <laughs> you would be painting when we do the vi i would be with you when we're doing the lives and then you would have to do the shipping and you would I have would do, to I'll, do the permits and yes everything i'll do all of that mm. and that gives me time to do uh video games and uh well, football super happy Oh my god, this is heaven now. You still have time to play video games and This is heaven. And football but I'm in heaven. <laughs> so you would choose now what? What's your would you rather answer? My final answer? Mhm. Mm um and seriously? Seriously, seriously? Mhm. Mm um jeez. I don't know. It's a it's a very tough one because I think that I do enjoy um, experiencing other forms of art mm -hmm. as much as I do painting. Like if if I really think about it, I I really, really enjoy that. Um, painting for myself sounds amazing because that would mean that I have something that, you know, I think it's super healthy for me. <sighs> But having that I think putting the pressure on painting to be the only thing that would be healthy for me would be very tough. Um, but I and I would miss all the media that I that I like, mm -hmm. um, like movie, like I said, movies and video games. Mm -hmm. But maybe if I replace them with like books, music, I I have to, I hate to say it. No, but you. I'm could not have super like huge on, on music. Yeah, but podcasts, I could I could do that too. Um, 
Oh God. I don't know. <laughs> You're trying to say it out loud to try to yeah. get an answer, but I would say produce you know what? art. You know what? I want this is gonna be a weird one. I want to I would sacrifice producing. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I would. And maybe I just look at nature and maybe I write a book. Maybe I, you know, maybe I could do something else. Wow, okay. Maybe I can be a teacher, like, you know, some sort of other art-related course. A teacher? Yeah. How would you be a, a teacher of what? I don't know. Maybe art history. Could I could do art history. No, because you could Yeah, I don't see the images, but I remember. You told me that I could, that I don't lose things. No, but you would be like, okay, students, imagine... Oh, that would be the course. Imagine. Imagined Art 101. That would be what I call it. <laughs> uh, Alejandro Morales said, Danny, I had to watch yesterday's video today. Your hair was red. I was kind of confused. Did you dye your hair? No. No. Well, my hair is kind of uh, lighter here in the bottom. But Actually, let's be honest. It's just it's the, it's the, the webcam. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say it's the camera. But no, my hair is... What color would you say it's my hair? Like well, black. Originally no. black. No, no, no. Nowadays. Oh, like like a dark brown. Dark brown. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not red. No, no, no. I love that it's black. Yeah, I was uh, thinking again about bleaching. Yeah. Oh my like hair. Like white. White. Yeah. I think it would look amazing. I think I would be. Uh, bold because i think it, that's it's two of us hard. then because <laughs> it's super uh hard on your hair yeah i wouldn't know about those things so yeah but maybe you know it was maybe hard on my hair losing it yeah no just yeah no being born <laughs> that was hard on my hair <laughs> uh aaron schmidt said danny i think what we're gathering from this is that you do a far better job of managing that's the stream that nick would do Oh, 100%. With his video games, LOL. <laughs> no, you would be super good. I mean, it would take a dive a little bit. We, we for sure lose people. I mean, we lose people because I talk about um, food. Would you rather? Would you rather? Uh, Kumis. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you name it. I've talked about that. So, But I'm, I mean, it is what it is. Um, Alejandro Morales said, oh, no, Danny, don't do that to your hair. Maybe I'm going to do it. I think she would look great. Maybe I'm going to do it. I think you would look cool. Yeah, because I was super decided. You even know that. Like, I went to the... Um, <laughs> wait, because Cody Winicky said top 10 list. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I even went to the hair saloon. Salon. Oh, I saloon. like a hair saloon. Yeah. <laughs> hair salon. And I With told them boots. I wanted white. Yeah. And the hairdresser was like, no, you're crazy. Like in one sitting, you can't get your hair to be white because your hair is dark. So we can do it like you a little bit it. blonder, blonder, blonder. And then you would get to white. But the thing is that I don't like blonde hair on me. I've never had it. But I don't think it would be a color that suits me. So just wear a baseball cap until you get all the. Uh... No, because it's like a, a year and a half. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, it's not like I thought you this can was bleach. like two months. No, no, because then you would fry your hair. Again. Because he was not like, things we I could do. Familiar with. He was like, we could do lighter, and then six months after that, lighter. And then six months, and I was like, no. I mean, I'm going to have white hair when I'm 40. So, uh, Rosalind said, oh, my goodness, the painting looks amazing. I'm getting my hair done, and I'm hoping I'm hopping in and out. What are you talking about for your hair? Tell me. Oh, mm -hmm. Rosalind now is saying that um, I've always wanted to have my hair white. Like bleach it and have it white, all white. But it's kind of complicated and my hair is super dark. So 
it would be hard to do it. But I think that... The What if you start, though? If I start? Yeah. No, because that's why I told you that... I told you, yeah, that... Yeah, but what if you start without thinking that the goal has to be... What if no, you start making it lighter? No, because the process is not to the red, because I like it more to the red than to the, like, blonde. Okay. And I would have to be blonde to start the process. That's why I was like, no, then I'm just gonna paint my hair like a tiny bit uh, browner than it is. So. <laughs> Cody Winicky said, if you're patient, your hair will be white eventually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that I regret. Like, I don't care about not having hair. Like, that, I... Oh, care but having about white that. hair? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love white hair, too. The sides, like the, the hair that does grow on me, which is on the sides yeah, and the it's back. White. It's getting like... Um, It's getting like silvery. Yeah, I love that. It's so cool. And when I when I see that hair, I'm always like, oh, I wish I could have done this. But, you know. Ah. <laughs> Mi prima dice, yo te acompaño a que te vuelvas blonde. Qué cool. Sí, pero es que Cami me dijeron que me toca de a poquitos y de a poquitos. Y yo, mona, es que yo no me veo como café mona, luego mona y luego sí blanco. No sé, a mí me gustaría salir de una vez con el pelo blanco, pero entiendo que no se puede hacer. Eh, Roslyn said, I understand it is a process. Oh, yeah. I mean, when I did this, which is like a kind of a lighter color, it was like a, a balayage, I think. What? That's the name, balayage. Oof. It took me like Ooh, six la, la. hours. Jean Roussin. Jean Roussin balayage. Or... I haven't seen uh, Jean Roussin. No. In a while. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it was like six hours. I was just like becoming crazy sitting there, like talking and talking. And I was looking at my phone and I was like, are we, like, are we even close? Close. And we were so, so far. But yeah. Alejandro Morales said, is Callum around? I haven't seen his comments in a while. Hope he's doing fine. Yeah, he was here uh, maybe like an hour ago, a couple of hours ago. Yeah. Celebrating Callum, think, St. Patrick's. I think Patrick's. Callum um, it realized, well, I think he realized this before, um, but he's going to animation school. And I think it was very obvious from the beginning that Animation has to be one of the most time-consuming, <laughs> yeah. you know, practices in all of art. So, mm. Alejandro said, "Haha, Cody, I'm almost there." And Cody said, "Nice, I'm catching up to Nicolas in the hair department." It's a, it's a nice place to be. Um, Air is fresh. Cold is even colder. Yeah. Yeah. When I went to university, I would have to um, use a beanie. Use a beanie because if we left at night, it was cold. It was very cold. Yeah, but you don't have to struggle with uh, your hair drying. Like the time. No. You know how long it takes for my hair to dry? Like three like. days? <laughs> no, but it's like almost a, an entire day. Oh, hi, Van Sant. How Ooh, are you? Van Sant hasn't been here nice for a while. Nice to have you here. Yeah. We oui, we. Oui. We missed you. <laughs> we missed you. <laughs> Roslyn said, my natural is so dark and with time, H, LOL, it's hard to say to stay dark. I'm doing a white stripe in my hair. Life is short. Have fun. Oh, that's super cool. You're yeah, doing yeah, a white yeah. I've stripe. Seen, I've seen pics of um, Roslyn. Why? I yeah. never see anything. Yeah, she's a fox. She's a silver fox. I, I want to see it. I'm going to look for it now. Mm, let's see. Mm. 
No, I did see the paintings. Send her uh, a pic, Rosalyn. Send Danny a pic. Mm, if you want to, no? Oh, I think she's okay <laughs> with that. I'm joking. Um, ben San said, I usually listen to you guys, but I also paint at the same time, so I can't comment. Oh, okay. that's great. Yeah. Are you painting right now? What are you painting, Vincent? Um, Rosalyn said, ha, 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 silver fox. Alejandro said, Nico, are you using the cat red at all today? No, sorry we're using um, oh. quinacridone. Yes, I'm sorry, Danny. I interrupted you. No, no, no. It was sorry for asking. I'm late today. Today, this, this sandstorm from Sahara. Catch I up with us in pictures. Berlin. I saw pictures in Spain. Oh Crazy? my God, it's amazing. I mean, no, yeah, but I get what you're saying. It's amazing to yeah, see I mean, it's a, the phenomenon. Yeah, yeah. Could you imagine this happening like you know three thousand years ago? People would be like, "Oh, end of times." God, what God did is we do? punishing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. I want to see. They're amazing, Danny. Incredible photos. Birthday. I think in the New York Times they had... No, no, no. I, I lost the... Um, el, el cursor. <laughs> what? Es que como lo apoyo en la pierna. Oh. A veces no coge. Sí. Pero... Oh, sí. <gasps> Mira esta. No, esto tiene filtro. No, 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 pero pon unas, yo vi unas de, yo no sé, qué, en dónde. En no filter. Yeah, it's amazing. <gasps> What? Try to look, look at the one, because I think it was the New York Times um, in your phone. And do you follow them on Instagram? No, I don't. Yeah, But maybe, maybe, maybe I'm, I'm mistaken, but New yeah, York search. Times? Yeah, I think so. Did you see it? It's in Spain. Yeah, that one. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Could you imagine being alive, like thinking that gods are, you know, there's a ton of gods and they get angry and they send you lightning yeah. um, and famine. <gasps> Could you imagine like experiencing that? Because I'm sure this happens like every couple of hundred years or every like decades. Oh, my God. <gasps> There would be so many sacrifices, I feel. Yeah. Like, so many sacrifices. If you were young at that time, you were dead. <laughs> yeah. I think so. <laughs> yeah. It's like all the virgins, you know, men and women, it doesn't matter. Every single virgin we're killing. Look, they're cleaning. Yeah, that's amazing. Look at this. I mean... Yeah, I would grab some. Oh. I would grab some just to have some, like... Could you imagine... I've never been to the desert, but here's some here's sand. Here's some Sahara for you. Yeah, that's awesome. That's cool. Yeah. Mm. Jose Fail said, can you show us the picture, Danny? Oh, I was looking at it on the phone. So if you go to Instagram, to the um, New York Times account, it is the one, two, three, four, the six sixth yep uh post they did ever oh rosalind said i sent you a picture and it looks like a mugshot ha ha we ha 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 so today they're making the stripe white not blonde yay <gasps> so bleaching day for rosalind oh I remember I did this uh, for Fer. Yeah, that's so nice. Yeah. Nice. It looks super cool. Yeah, because Fer also had the stripes. The Yeah? Is it called stripes? Like the chunks of hair here. White. The And what? I did it here. The chunks of hair? Chunks? Yeah. <laughs> How do you call that? Like the I don't know. front... Part of the head. The bangs? The bangs? No, because they're not bangs because they're, cause they're no sh not short. So the... Um, 
not the fringe. Yeah, you you know what I'm trying to say. I think it's called money piece. What? Yeah. Look. Money piece here. Because when I was looking for what... Uh, Do you need it? No, that's okay. Wha when Fer wanted it, yeah, I looked for it and that's the name. Look. Money piece. Money piece, wow. yeah. Wow, that's a weird ass name for that. Rosalind said, yes, I remember Fer's hair. So, so pretty. Yes, it's a money piece. Yeah, I did it here in the bathroom. I bleached her hair. <laughs> yeah. In the bathroom. My my only issue with you being like white hair, it would be that Fer would want white hair yeah. like a week later. Yeah. And for Fer, I think it would be super hard on her. Because, I mean, when I was doing it, when I was bleaching her hair, I was being super careful to not touch the root because mm -hmm. she gets allergies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that would be super hard on her, I think. I mean, and she's a child, so it would be harder. So uh, Dirt said, I absolutely love the texture of that big brush. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. And Rosalind, I don't think it looks like a mugshot. No, you it look great. It looks super cool. Yeah. yeah, you look great. I have to say mm -hmm. that when I was thinking about bleaching my hair, yeah, I photoshopped my hair. Do you remember? Yeah, that? yeah, I tried it too. Because <laughs> yeah. I did one and you thought that mine was like terrible. Because I had like a different uh, face shape. <laughs> no, no. Kind of. But I do... I did this one, remember? Yeah. Don't look bad. Show it to people, like, in the no. camera. Oh, okay. that doesn't it look doesn't bad. It doesn't look... That doesn't look bad, Danny. No, I promise it, you. It doesn't show. I mean, we have... Uh, yeah. Let me show people. No. It looks fine. It's a Photoshop. <laughs> here. You look just super here, cute. Just here. No, just no, here. No, let me show no, them. You look super no, cute. I, here. <laughs> oh, my God. That was nothing. <laughs> that let me was show it, them. That was it. No. Let me show them. Oh, uh, I think... Oh, let me see it, then. <laughs> Oh my God! Everything's falling it. apart. Don't I won't show it. it. No, if you don't no. want me to show it, I'll. I won't show no. it. No. I promise you. No, I'm super conscious. No, let me see it. Let wait, me see. Because I like it. Look for it. <laughs> I liked it. No, you look super nice. You look super nice. You look like you have like a line of makeup. What? Yeah, like you could sell makeup. Or cars. That's what or you cars. said. <laughs> I think <laughs> when I showed you, it was like, oh, like you look high like end. you. Yeah, you like told me, like, you look like you sell super expensive like cars. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> Oh, can I show them? Mm. Yeah? No, because it's a, it's a selfie. It's oh, a Photoshop it's fine. selfie. You're, you're beautiful. Like, no. can I, we're, uh, we're so there. <sighs> yeah, stop it. No, no, yeah, no, no. Tengo pena, tengo pena. I think she looked great. You guys can tell her that she looked no. great. Didn't she look like she would, I would buy a Maserati from you. <laughs> like, wouldn't even ask for a discount. I want, I want to have my hair white. You look something. great. I'm telling you, you looked great there. Thank you. Let's see if I get to do it. The, the other thing that I was like, oh no. Um, it's the fact that you have to go to the salon. Yeah. Like, Every 15 days. If I'm what? Around. No, yeah. stop it. Yeah, because of the root. Like well, you have to bleach and in bleach. In that photo, you have like dark roots, which is cool. Which but is it, nice too. Yeah, I wanted that. Like a tiny bit of uh, root. Yeah. But do you know how fast my hair grows? Yeah, you have you So have I would a lot be like every week in the salon. So. Or in the saloon. Saloon. Yeah. So that would be hard. But I think she looked amazing. Thank you. Maybe someday you would um, what? be surprised. Well, that's if I don't see you. From what you're saying, I would have not. I, I no, because I wouldn't have would to see you for like you know three years. <laughs> no, but maybe it's a slow burn. If I get to do it in one sitting, uh, you're gonna come home bald. Like no, I would be like, be, oh, okay, I'm gonna go visit my mom. Let's go uh, cap, you know. 
I don't know. Let's go buy some caps because I, if you do it in one day, what I've gotten from this, because I know nothing about hair, is that it would be horrible for your hair. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> I was going to say that I love uh, when people get uh, bald, like when they cut all the hair. Yeah. But I would never be the perfect person for that because my head has a terrible shape. Like Spongebob. Yeah. So it would be weird. Amazing. Mm. Katrina Langstroth said, I used to dye my own hair a lot and would always get so much on my scalp. No, but that's terrible for your scalp. Because it, because I read a lot when I was going to do fair uh, bleaching and I saw that you have to do like this part and leave a lot here because uh, I'm going to get a little technical here but uh, the heat from the scalp makes uh, the process of the bleaching go faster so uh, you have to do first here and then when you're like uh, like when you have all covered just at the end put the bleach here so it doesn't uh, affect the scalp And I think it worked because Fed was fine. Yeah. I was super scared and it didn't even itch. So. Eh. <laughs> Ay, gracias, Cacaito. Cacaito dice, oh my God, se ve muy cool, Dani, que lo muestre Coco. No, ahí lo mostró un segundito. No, si, si Dani no quiere, yo no lo muestro más. Es que me da pena. O pero sea, fue pues, selfie. But pero, pero let's es que si show it. Si so you can terrible. help me. Decide. Si salieras terrible, yo no te diría que lo mostraras. Pero solo ahí que... So we're going to show Danny once again. We're going to show Maserati Danny. <laughs> Maserati from Danny. From New Jersey de dealership. <laughs> uh, maybe maybe it would be... Maybe it would be weird. I don't know if I, I could... I think you look so cute. Okay, that's, that's... You look so good. I don't know. You wouldn't be Daniela. You would be Danielle. Dan Danielle. No, Danielle. I don't want to be Danielle. Like double L E. No, I want to be Daniela. Danielle, yeah. like that. Who's buying a car today? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think you look great. Thank you. Mm. Uh, uh, paint some uh, purple. Dirt said, "White would look good." With every outfit. Yeah, I think white looks super cool with every outfit. Like, that would be amazing. I think we already made the uh, decision here. Uh, no, Joan dice, se ve genial como una Kardashian. <laughs> no. Parece. Pero ¿Y cuál Kardashian es mona? Saquemos como una marca de calzones. Mm. Yo creo que nos iría súper bien. ¿De calzones? Por no, que más eratis. Pasamos de ma vender Maserati. Calzón Maserati. Calzón Maserati. <ríe> um, a ver. Kardashian Blonde. Yo no he visto ninguna. Sí. Why? Ah, mira, puse. <ríe> todas. <ríe> y todas. Todas. Sí, yo te iba a decir qué pasa. Es verdad, ahí. sí, sí, perdón. Ahí sí. Mostraste. Ah, la sí. Pero mira, a mí no me gustaría esto. No veo. Cuando se pone de este color. No, ese es amarillo. Ese Pero es, como... es que eso pasa cuando uno no lo cuida mucho. No podría meterme a la piscina porque se pone verde. Bueno, o sea, las dos veces al año. Pues sí, pero... Sí, lo dijiste como, no puedo volver a la piscina. Bueno. No, pero pues... Y se pone muy verde. O sea, mira, este es un pelo mono después de la piscina. What? Sí, está horrible. Pues, o sea... Pues parece una pecera, sí, una pecera sucia. Se pone verde, sí. Mira. No, sí, me da susto. El cloro lo pone, sí. Ahí miraremos, ahí miraremos. Si no, van no, a no, seguir van... viéndome el... Con gorro en la cartera, toca andar. <risa> Con gorro en la cartera. Sí. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're all being super nice. I don't know why we're talking so long on this uh, topic. 
Topping. <laughs> topping. <laughs> it's a topping for your hair. I'm sorry. That's pretty good. Uh, Cody Winicky said, it looks good both ways. You should do whatever makes you happy. Yeah, I'm going to see what I decide. And thank you also, uh, Katrina and Paston. They were being super nice. Oh, and Paston said, I love uh, your hair the way it is, Danny. You're naturally beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I come back with uh, green with? hair. Green? Mm. No. Mm -mm. I wouldn't do like uh, fantasy colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that what it's called? I think it is. Uh, but white is another thing. I love it. Um, Jose Fail said, I had a Spanish class in high school. Yeah. And each student had to choose a Spanish name. Yeah. Someone else chose the name Jose. So I became Joaquin for that hour. Oh, come on. <laughs> I love this out of like That's, nowhere. Yeah. I love the comment. And I love to think about that moment. Like yeah. you have to choose a Spanish name and Jose being Jose. Like what? Yeah. But wh why would the teacher allow that? Would I, like, if I was the teacher, I'm sorry, I would have been like, no. My name is Jose. <laughs> yeah. I would have been like, no, come on. You can't pick the name of people that are here. <laughs> mm, Jose said green is speculative fiction color. Oh. <laughs> Uh, ay, thank you, Cacaito. Cacaito ya está apoyando. Me dice, se ve muy, muy bien, Dani. Me encantó. Looks amazing, Dani. Amazing, Dani. <laughs> oh, my. Ya está. Va a llevar el... Ya está haciendo la cita. Sí. <laughs> Va a llevar el bleach. A uh, lo de Monchi. Ella sabe, ella ¿Vas sabe a lo de, de eso. Monchi? Cacaito. Ella sabe, Cacaito sabe de esto. Uh, Roslyn said, oh, my God, the portrait is stunning. The brushwork is my favorite. Yeah, I think it's looking super cool. Thank you, Roslyn. Super, super cool. I'm going to do like a light purple on the back. I was. Kind I of, like it. I was kind of um, I like trying it. to figure out what, what should I do with the back. Would you imagine you having the hair of Zappa? No, I can't. I, did, I can't. I can't Imagine even think of myself with, with, like, hair. I can't even remember, mm, yeah. like, my hair. My hair was always, like, a problem because it was either, you know, when I was just, I don't know, late 20s. No, I mean, I've been bald forever, but late 20s that it was just super evident that I just didn't have any hair. And, uh, and were you trying to fight against it? I remember at, at some point, mm -hmm. like, uh, because I... You know, I I just I would just take my hair and just push it to the side, yeah. Not like to the front. Oh, okay. You know, you take your hair that's kind of in the back and you kind of mess it up to the front. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I remember I saw myself doing that one day and I was like, "What am I doing?" <laughs> no, and I, but and I just went to the uh, to the mall and I just told them like, "No, just take it all off." Like, and uh, ever since that day, like it's been like gone. Um, but. I remember I used to, because I used to swim a lot, like your hair, you would ruin your hair oh, because yeah. of the chlorine. Like I, because I didn't wear swim caps. Like uh, in, in the time that I used to swim, like men, you know, it wasn't, you would only wear swim caps for meets, but not, not for training. Mm -hmm. So, you know, se six days a week, we were like, terrible. you know, two and a half hours every no, day in terrible. a pool. And so my hair looked like wool. It was like. Like bl like bleach blonde, it was almost like white. Um, I used to have a friend that would tell me that I looked like a lamb, and um, and I remember the texture of the hair. It was just like, it was nothing. Um, so yeah, so I I don't know. I've never cared about my hair. Like I never, I was never able to do like cool stuff with my hair either. Because you so, had super long hair. At some point. No, not super long. No, that, but that, long. That sounds weird for people that don't. No, it was like shoulder that, high. That don't, yeah, that have long hair. Yeah. But I have to say that I've seen uh, photos with you with hair. Yeah. And I like you bald. Like, I don't think. I, I don't like myself like this. I wouldn't too. even. Like, it would be so weird. No. No. Van Sant said, you had Trump's haircut. We want pigs. <laughs> 
<laughs> I used to have my, I threw it away, my old uh, driver's license. I think that that was like um, a good uh, picture of how I, like my grungy days, my grungier days. Mm. But I, I threw that away. I don't have that anymore. Why? I think it was, it was breaking apart. Jose Fayol said, my mom said she was blonde until the age of five. Then her hair grew in brunette. But that's, uh, Fer was... Oh, my kids were blonde. Blonde. And Sam yeah. was blonde. I'm blonde-ish. Like when I see photos. Oh, when I, when I was a kid, I you mean... You were super blonde. Our definition of blonde is not quite like it's called, California blonde. I think blonde. it's called dirty blonde. Yeah. Our definition of blonde here in Colombia that most people are, are have like darker hair... You know, it's far less blonder than, you know, Swedish blonde or like California blonde. Look, because it's this is dirty yeah. blonde. Like, yeah, that, that would be it. That would be me. Well, was me. And my kids were kind of like that color, but now they're brown. I, I guess they're brown hair. Yeah, you know, their color is brown. But Samu is uh, Samu's hair is darker. Yeah, because first. of the dirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, eh, Alejandro Morales said, "Did that color just change the entire white balance of the picture? The paper oh, now looks white. Oh, maybe. maybe. Yeah, maybe oh. that happens a lot because it is auto white balance. So yeah, yeah. I think. And look, now that I see the table. Oh wait. Oh, it's blue. Yeah, like the table now is blue. Look at the. Yeah, the camera goes insane." Um, you know what it is? What? Uh, the white, I don't know if it's the white balance in these cameras and these Sony cameras, but they're fantastic. So I can't yeah. imagine, or I don't know if that, if it has something to do with painting mm -hmm. because painting, like Changes. I've spoken to a lot of people and just filming a painting and specifically not just like taking a photo of a painting, like, you know, a final painting, but just a painting that is being painted Um, it's one of the toughest things to um, to film. Now, you could, we now have, because I've already closed, we've already decided that we're closing my shades. Mm -hmm. So we can't to control you know, the light. We, yeah. we put the blackout down. So there's no light coming in from outside. None at all. And what we have is two lamps like pointed at the painting. And we can actually um, put the temperature. We can set the temperature on those lamps. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the weirdest part. If I put the temperature that the lamps are on yeah. in my white balance. Because like it has it, like a like a screen in the back part. Oh, of yeah, the yeah. Light. You can set it and you so can you actually can, see yeah. the temperature. But if I set that temperature on the camera as the, it goes as the white balance, it is insane. Like yeah, it has, it it's nothing like it looks nothing like what we're looking at. So I don't know. I think yeah, it's a I Sony thing. I think it's it's maybe it's a, a it's a this camera thing. I was gonna say it's a painting thing. Or I yeah, also think or it is a painting. thing. It changes so abruptly. Yeah, yeah. That when I mean when you see that they're doing like a recording of I don't know buildings or people acting whatever, it's like it doesn't change as drastically as this. Yeah. And, and with this, because you're doing things with color, like you know how it should look all the time. Yeah. So the changes are super abrupt. But yeah. Roslyn's oh, we 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 don't know how we don't know how to deal with that. To be like, long story short, we've tried things. Yeah. We don't know how to deal with that. Yeah, I'm sure that that people that know how know about lighting, um, in, uh, especially for video, they would be able to tell us um, with certainty what's happening but based on us just trying a bunch of things out it's almost like no this is gonna happen like it's just it is gonna happen yeah and i was gonna say that when we did uh the edited videos yeah it wasn't that evident because i had to do the color correction but live oh I mean, you guys yeah streaming, it's uh i mean it's impossible yeah you guys do don't know the half of what danny had to do she would have to like like splice the video like w when she would notice that there was a, ch a shift in 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 um in white balance mm -hmm. like a shift in temperature she would have to cut those parts of the video and then put like mask it so that it would look like the 
you know, the other, the part of the video that was before. Yeah, and not even and like then, a static mask because yeah. it had to transition because yeah, sometimes it was like, oh, it was uh, the sun was going down. So it was orange. Yeah. All was orange. And then it was before that it was like super sunny. And after that it was super dark. Yeah. So it was like sh changing all the time. So Jose Fail said, what's a Cuban blonde? What? No, I said dirty blonde. I don't know if you said Cuban. Cuban no. no, I don't no, know no. if it's a joke or something. It sounds like, you know. No, I don't. Well, if it was a joke, I didn't get it. Uh, Robin said, my hair was so white as a child. It would turn green from the chlorine in the pool in the summers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was uh, saying. When the hair is white, it gets green. And how did you took the green out, Robin? Oh, no, it's just you don't. It's because of the chlorine. No, but it, it stays for a bit. For what I've read. Oh, you just wash I've your read. hair. No. Because that's her. Na she's speaking about her natural hair. Yeah, but. Yeah, yeah. It's, and yeah I mean, I, mine was like white wool. So, you know, eventually if you, if you don't go to the pool that much, like it'll get better. Mm. What? Oh, Why yeah. does the hair turn green from the pool? The answer is simple. Copper. Copper? What? How does copper end up in pool water? It usually happens in one of the three ways. Or some combination. The water source. Algae side. Al okay. you know? Algae. Yeah, yeah. Algas. Algae algas. side. Mineral sanitizers. What? Wow. So it's not the chlorine. Hmm. That's pretty amazing. It says, but how does it turn green when the metal is exposed to the water and chlorine? It oxidizes. Yeah, we're, we all turn into This is why you may sometimes Liberty. <laughs> end up with pool stains of a greenish color. Wow. Mm. I never, I have to say, I never experienced green. I don't think so. Maybe I didn't even notice and it was green. Your hair? Yeah. And then your hair wasn't that white. That happens when it's like oh, yeah, wide. Wasn't, I wasn't like, like that blonde. Blonde, blonde. Um, mm, look, it's not easy having great hair. If all else fails and your hair is still a sickly green color, cut you it. would have to cut it. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's why I was saying that it's not that easy to take out the color. Because I've read about it. It's not easy being green. But as a child, I would love that. that. Like, joke, ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robin said, I didn't care. I was a kid. Could oh, yeah. Been. Haha. We used to get locked out of the house in the summer, too. But I would love to, like, as a kid. Yeah. I would feel like, wow. Well, yeah, my hair's green. green. Hair. Look at that. My like, hair's green. Summertime is green yeah. hair time. <laughs> Um, so, that's something no kid has ever said. <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't know. Maybe Robin said that no. as a kid. I'm Maybe gonna, I'm gonna bet no. <laughs> um, Rosalind said it was so cool to watch that light purple change everything. I mean, it's a, it's a funny thing, but <laughs> uh, but yeah, we we always go like, what, what can we do? Cody Winnicky said, I've been rewatching some of the old videos and they were very well produced. She's amazing. No, thank you, Cody. Well, we did what we could. No, I think you did an incredible job. I always tried my best. It shows. Uh, it, Robin said, it was a pastel, not a vibrant green. So that would look super cool, I think. Like your jacket. Yeah, like my jacket. So, Danielita, I think I'm done. You think you're done? Yeah, I think so. I like so. it a lot. It has, you know, 
it has um, what I expected, you know, of, of um, you know, Sapa painting, mm -hmm. you know, to be in, uh, like, if it was my effort in, in trying to paint him, you know, I, I told myself, okay, I have to be somewhat bold uh, with... Uh, <laughs> you always go back. Yeah, yeah, because I, I thought by smudging it, I was going to clean that edge up a little bit, but now I kind of need it. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, so like I said, it's a, it's a sort of mixed nuts um, thing where, you know, I don't think you can paint him and I don't think you're supposed to paint him just super traditionally, um, you know, it's you're, you're meant to have fun. If you've ever like listened to any of, of his songs, uh, read any of his lyrics, that you know, there's, I mean, there there is a, a context to them, but um, but you're supposed to to have fun. If if you don't smile with with a single um, Frank Zappa song, you, there's something wrong with you. Like you. Or maybe it's not for you then, but um, but yeah, I had to try and translate some of that here, and I think it's um, it's okay. I think it's a, you know, it's it's a fun painting to look at, and it's a fun painting to have painted. So I'm I'm pretty happy about that. It looks super cool. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like it a lot, and I like the um, conversation being yeah, here. Yeah, always, always. Yeah. So it makes the uh, painting. The making of the painting worth it so mm, i need this cast shadow a little bit sharper i feel so conosor dice hermoso chicos la próxima un charlie jaja <laughs> un charlie un charlie's roast beef <laughs> <laughs> hace mucho no no uy no a mí me encanta hace cuatro años no comemos más no Sí, cuatro años. Yo diría así por encima dije cuatro años, pero sí creo sí, que creo son que cuatro, cuatro años. Sí, creo que cuatro años. Creo que no me equivoco. No, creo que estás bien. Ya es hora. Ya, ya voy a terminar, qué pena. No, ya es hora de... No me presiones. <risa> eh, Aaron Schmidt said, good work today, y'all. Javi have said, another great session. It looks really cool. Ke Thank you. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Me Morb said, I hope to see more Zappa studies. Um, yeah, that would be super fun to like take a, a single character and just try a ton of things, like tons of things out. Mm -hmm. That's super, super cool. I just realized I need to um, solve this a little bit, just a little bit better, a little bit. Don't worry. Uh... Alejandro Morales said, Danny, cameras have a manual white balance mode. Yeah. You need to set it up before the recording. The way to do it is to put a white surface in front of the camera with the light source to be used. Yeah, but we've tried to do the manual, manual yeah. with the uh, white paper, like where we're going to paint. And like it's accurate at the beginning. But once Nicolas starts painting... No, no, if it's manual, it kind of sticks to that. No, but it changes. No, no, no. If it's manual, it'll stick to that. What what bothers me about the um, setting your own temperature, which is what we've tried also, is that, you know, we know the, the, the light source temperature. We know it for a fact. So it is so weird to have such a disconnect between the temperature that we know the lights are at and the image that the camera sees you know that's a it's it is a weird thing we could try to do it like by eye and that's how we've always done it mm -hmm. mm. but um but of course it's easier for you know when we were um it was time consuming but it was easier for danny because she would always ask me for the painting and she would take the painting yeah. and then when she while she was doing the video she would try to make the adjustments but it's very hard when we are you know when we're about to do the painting. Mm -hmm. When and, there's um, no painting to compare. Yeah, but I guess, you know, you you are right in the sense that, although, although, like, if you ever shot your own artwork, and I'm sorry, like, and, and we can finish with this, like, I, th I think I'm done with the painting, but 
I'll talk a little bit about this because I shoot my own photographs. I've been, I've been shooting my own photos of my work for, I don't know, maybe 15 years. Mm -hmm. And I used to shoot it um, with, with plates. And um, so a long time ago where you needed that, you needed your cards and you needed to measure light. Um, so I used to do that. But here's the thing. With digital cameras, there's something like different going on because I can set up my lights and my lights are not going to change and all that changes is my artwork. And depending on your artwork, and you know this, if there's a if if your artwork is super light or super dark, like that will always offset like your your white balance, like your camera goes a little bit crazy trying to figure that out. So this is the weird thing. Like if I set my lights same spot, same everything. And I put, you know, I place a painting and I, you know, I, I do everything as I think it should be, you know, and I can actually check it super easily in Photoshop and say, okay, this was like, for example, I know that my, the Sony um, Alpha overexposes when I try to shoot my artwork. Always, mm -hmm. always overexposes. So I need to go like two steps darker when I shoot my artwork. Mm -hmm. All the time. If not, if I would trust my camera and my setup and say like, okay, this worked for a, a, a painting, it'll always overexpose my lights. So let's say that I, I set everything up and I shoot everything perfectly for one piece. When I, when I shoot another piece and nothing has changed, nothing, nothing has changed in your light setup, which is how you used to traditionally um, do things for, for artwork. You would never have to like measure anything on the uh, artwork. You would have, you would just have to measure your light. Uh, no, no, this it goes crazy. Like the same, you know, same light source, same everything. You the 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 artwork changes slightly, and you have to change everything again. You have to set everything up again. So it's very annoying. It's very annoying. Like cameras, digital cameras now are they're incredible. They're super intelligent. They're amazing, but you realize how weird it is when you have to shoot artwork. For me, I always, like I have like a happy medium where I'm like, okay, but then in Photoshop, I'm always, always have, to, I always have to tweak it all the time because I wish it was like amazing from the camera and I don't have to do anything but crop it. But no, that's not the case. At least not in my experience. Yeah, you always have to always. color correct. I always. And it's super annoying how, you know, even the exposure just changes. Like, and you say, well, light is the same. The setup is the same. Everything is the same. Yeah. So it shouldn't, cameras shouldn't really have an issue with that because the light source is the same. That Like the same amount of light is hitting the painting. So, yeah, super weird. Super, super weird. Yeah. So... Yeah. So Anyways. to end, yep. Uh, your mom said amazing painting. Congratulations. Thank you, Olgita, querida, mi Olgis, lovely Olgis. Okay, always. so um, oh, my cousin said looks awesome, Coco. Thank you, Cacaido of the Planta of Cacao. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, everyone. Thank uh, you for joining us. Yes. Uh, we're happy always to have you here. Always. Now it's like a thing that I do the outro. Oh, I, I think you're um, I... you're good at it. Thank you. Bye. Now I'm. Joking. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you on Monday. Yeah, we'll see you on Monday because tomorrow I need um yeah I need tomorrow for um. The visual card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing. Did I say what I was no, doing no, or how I was it. doing it? No, mm -hmm. I shouldn't spoil anything. No, no, don't spoil it. Okay. So, so if you want to know what he was trying to say, oh, you catch up, you catch better us on Monday. On Monday, yeah, one thirty. That's the only one that we really do at one thirty. We try. We try. Yeah, one thirty-ish. Yeah, let's say. But so, um, but I'm having um, I'm taking some chances. Ooh. I think that um, maybe things that I do from now on are gonna be a little bit different because of that wow i don't okay. know i don't know i want to do like a little kachumbo mm. <laughs> um yeah i'm i'm super nervous because i well. see myself sort of painting in a way that i'm like oh 
is this uh is this like the future is this uh is this something that i should be paying attention to for uh for future paintings and really i don't know yeah i don't know i don't know it's now, uh now now i want to see it well you get you to have, see it when everyone wait. else see it yeah i have it, to so. wait so you have to um you also have to wait yeah so thank you everyone again Uh, we're always super happy to have you here and we'll see you on Monday. Yes. Have a great Friday. Yeah. Have a great rest of the day and a great weekend. Yes. We'll see you. Thank you guys.